There is everything that we're selling for you today. So it's a quick, easy step to just, whoosh, that's where the things are that I've seen on the shows that I desperately need. Boom, it's there. You don't have to go putting in lots of codes and remembering stuff. Mm. It's just all in one place, like a great long shopping list, which we love. That's how easy it is. <laughs> Bish right bash then. bosh. Yes. Should Where we do start? we start? Where do we start? First of all, um, we have, we can see we've made the pink one, but today we're doing the blue with that Love gorgeous fabric. Blue. Really gorgeous fabric. So you actually cut from your three fabrics. You cut, first of all, your, grab this one there. Let's have this here. Get the instructions. So you cut your front and your back. So this is the front. On the front, you're going to applique your circles or applique, depending mm. on how you do it. When you're, because you're doing it as a quilt, you need to cut the same for the backing. Right. This is uh, 19 inches and because it's half, just over half a meter, it's fine to actually put the sandwich with there. Sometimes you make it wider, but it's actually, it works perfectly fine when I did it. So if you do it with 19 inches, now this is the thing. Um, we've sent you enough fabric that you can use this gorgeous linen fabric for your lining as well. Yeah. But... If you want to make a matching cushion, just get some old fabric as your lining. Yeah, You're not going to see sheet. it, are you? Because oh, most quilters are not going to waste lovely, really nice premium fabric. On the reverse, you're not going to see when you're actually doing the sandwich. Because the actual envelope backing, you'll see. And as you can see from the back of that, I use the two prints. You're not going to waste this. Why would you? Well, exactly. Yeah, just use the same weight or any sort of cotton will be fine. I usually do. I use an old sheet. An old bed sheet, mm. something like that. Yeah. that you know, you, and and then... And then you can use You've this for another cushion, so you can have a matching pair. Which is lovely. It's lovely. So, you cut uh, your front bit, your back bit for your, your sandwich, your quilt sandwich, your wadding, and there's loads of wadding in that one. I think you can actually make three cushions out of, With four the, actually, out, out of that the wadding. Because you yeah. only need like 19, 20 inches, and there's, I think it's like 65 by 40 or something. I had a quick it's look. A big, it's big huge, old wadding. It's wadding. Yeah. Um, so you do those and then the envelope back to things, but you do that separately out of the other fabric. So should we start with the yes, front? Yes, let's do this. So in, this is the thing, isn't it? This yeah. is the main event of this cushion. Absolutely. So in, in the book, it tells you to cut various different circles. You can see, I think there are three big, I can't remember how many are, five and six of the other sizes. I think they're five, three and a half or two. Two, yes. So she's looking at her things. And it tells you to use a compass. Or you could use something that I think you're going to show for the moment. Well, minute. yes. Now, you, you see, first? I hear circle. I actually hear circle cutter is actually what yeah, I hear in my head. Fun. I like um, this one. Do you want to tell us how you did your circles first? Okay. Well, I tend to do things um, as opposed to use a compass. I thought, no, I went into the kitchen with a ruler. Because you, um, have, you have young boys, don't you? I have you? young boys. So we have, um, you know, beakers and all that shenanigans. So I went in there and I measured... Uh, with my ruler, uh, an egg cup, Two using egg a cup. cereal packet. Yep. Actually, that might be it's vegetable samosas. Oh, very yeah, healthy. Clean. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. So that one. Yeah. Uh, this was actually a beaker. Right. Uh, recipes on the back. Nice. And okay. this one was actually the, the, the five inch was actually a lid of a well-known department store who do little carby treats in tubs. Oh, where you get, yeah, like two for a fiver. Yeah, and that's the back. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, so, one of those. So that's what they were. So I already had those, so I measured those out. So you can do it that way. You can this way. You or, can spend a morning in your kitchen yeah. measuring pots. Or use a that's, compass, which that's is happy. one option. Or you can raid your child's pencil case yeah. and get the compass. Or, or this. Or this is lovely. The Fiskar Circle Cutter. We've had fun with this already this morning. We have. Um, have we got any scrap fabric? I think there's some oh, there. Oh, is this, oh, that, oh, this is for? Okay, so. With the Fiskar Circle Cutter, if you haven't seen it before, oh, you're in for an absolute treat. If you have seen it before, <laughs> we love it. I hadn't, it was lovely. Well, this is what you do. You fold your fabric in half. Oh, actually, look, there's loads of fabric here. Yeah, there's loads. Gosh. Uh, so, fold your fabric in half. Give it a press if you want. Life's too short for me right now. Always iron. Yeah, I know. You, you're a bit of an ironing yeah, thing, aren't you? Yeah, always iron. Um, so, here we go. But, Imagine actually, time. this is great because I'm going to be able to show it to you perfectly. This here, that black cross gives mm. you your centre point. And you'll notice that if you follow the black solid line there, a bit of black solid black solid, that is where you would put your fabric folded. You would line up to your fabric fold line. Now, you might say, but I actually only want to do a semicircle. That's fine because the dotted line down here, you line up and actually there's a line on there. 
on the actual thing, you line up that edge if that's just going to be a semicircle, okay? Because yep. you're full semicircle with seam allowance, okay? Always with the seam allowance. Now, the numbers down the bottom here give you the size of the circle that you're going to get in inches, but what's been added to that is a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Really handy. Already added in. So that will give you a two inch finished circle. So a two and a half inch yeah. diameter, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, three and a half inch, da -da -da -da, and onwards and upwards. But the real joy of this is that you line it up there. So I'm lining that on my fold line. It's very clear, fabric fold line. It's got nice little rubbery dots on there. That's not going anywhere. It's gonna shift. And this is the cutter. Now, what I would say to you is, if you have people in your family that cut circles, like for children. school projects mm. or anything else that might be needed, get a spare blade, which we do sell as well. So get a spare blade because then you can have one for paper, one for fabric. We know this in our lives, we don't do. we? Yes. It's the same as your scissors. If you want a nice sharp blade, get a separate one so that you can have one for, uh, one for your, your card and your paper and one for your fabric. It's Fiskars, you can use it on your paper, but keep one for fabric, one for, for that. Uh, 5 95 for a replacement blade. In fact, always keep a replacement blade as mm. well. Uh, TMGQ73, like you do with your rotary cutter. Yeah, you always, same, you same. always run out. Yeah. Now, this is uh, a little cap that sits on the end, keeping it safe. Ah, so you can have it out because the children are yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's safe, that's got that on. But when I take that off, it's also still whoops, safe because look, that blade does oh. not engage until I press down. So as soon as I press down, then the blade becomes engaged. But as mm -hmm. it is, if it's just sitting on the side, it's not gonna do anything because look, it's not there. Now what you can see here are these two little knobbly bits. That's a technical crafting term. Yeah, we like that. Yep. Um, now those sit into the grooves on here. So they sit in and they act as kind of your runners. So if I just slot those and make sure that they are in, there we go, that is now in. You've got a little notch on the top there so you can see. I don't know if we can see, yeah, there, there. These here show you where those are. So you just line those up and go, okay, that's gonna sit into there like that. And you'll know when it's sitting in the tracks because it's not, it's not going anywhere. All I need to do now is press down. You don't have to press too hard, do no, you? No, you don't. The blade is now engaged. And then, but look at the position of my fingers because they stay. I'm not having to do any awkward turny-turny. That has just turned. And that has just cut. Oh, there we go. I just missed just a tiny bit there because I was chatting. Distracted, you see. Oh, I love that. That's so much easier. Versus One going circle. round and round with a pair Done. of scissors, especially yep. if you've got sore hands. Yep. Oh, that's brilliant. I now, I didn't, I hardly applied any pressure. Yeah. If I'd applied more, it would have gone through. I've cut six layers of fabric easily. Really? In one go. Oh, so you can do loads at once. You can do that's loads much at once. Better. Absolutely. When I, I had to do a whole show of making flowers for a cushion. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it said, you know, in the book, it, it said to do however many circles. Uh, oh. Just took this home. Wow. Bish, bash, bosh. I do like that. And this is the other thing. If you need a guide for sewing circles, ah. stick your pen in. Oh, nice. That's the other thing. Because, of course, I did the thing of not having a spare blade and snapped the blade because I wasn't looking mm. and broke it. And so then... Uh, that's fine because you can then just draw it around with a pen. Yeah, because even, even though even though you're using a pencil around these and you hopefully it's pretty pretty circular, that's that will be a perfect, it's perfect. circle. It yeah, is absolutely brilliant. perfect every time. So whichever way you need to do it, that is absolutely fab, and I would massively recommend it. And for thirty one ninety five, it's a treat that you will use time and time and time again. I will one day make a circular. Um, I'll make a a quilt with all lots of circles. Or clamshells and things. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, brilliant because yeah, yeah. then it's the perfect shape. Of course it is. Done every time. Grab it. It's a treat. So, if you've got one of those aces, if not, you cut out loads of circles. So let, yeah, let's let's move this. Let's move this. So go. you've got these cut out, and then you need to get your fabric um, and iron bond to web on. What the book says is um, cut 
your fabric to a certain size and then iron bond a web on and then do the circles around blah 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 because it talks about using different fabrics but because we're using two I actually low worked out how many circles I wanted on a sort of fabric like this and also because I like to save bond web and then just ironed the great big bond web on and then drew the circles. You, why would you waste your fabric I or your bond web? I wouldn't and you can cut through bond web and fabric Absolutely. with your Fiskars uh, so circle cutter as well. You probably can't see that but that's the less sort of leftover ones there so they're really close. Using a pencil obviously on the, on the back. There yeah there so you go. There. So then I cut all of them out Having, because in the book it gives you an idea of where to place them, and right. I kind of did it the same. But you can do the one, I, the other one. I did a little bit less, so I had fun with. You have so much fun with these, and because this has got really nice. I mean, you get a bit distracted, don't you? Because that's so beautiful. Pretty. Well, you can. You can start to uh, sort of paper piece, can't you? you go could. right. Okay. So if you want to get the birds in, so you've got your little birds in yeah, there. Yeah, you can see them that way. I suppose that you can see them a bit better. I mean, I, I must admit, I was I loved doing this anyway. I was really tired looking at that, thinking felt it pen. That'd be so nice. <gasps> Fabric pen. You could, can you yeah, imagine? Yeah, you could just it's highlight just the odd gorgeous. one here and there. Or a little bit of embroidery if you wanted to. That sort of stuff. Anyway, so you work about work out your sort of placement of them and then you obviously peel off the backing. Yep. Everything beautifully ironed and you iron them on. Uh, now, if you've just joined us, hello, welcome. We're in the middle of making this gorgeous cushion. The kit that we've brought to you today will make you at least two. Yeah. Um, what we would say is um, because this is a quilted front... Mm -hmm. Just use an old sheet to, if you want to use, yeah. you know, a lining on the back there rather than your beautiful fabric and this will go even further. So for £23.95 you get enough to make two cushions in there. BHGC31. You get uh, your wadding, your thread, your bond web and three half metre lengths of gorgeous fabric which we've handpicked to go beautifully together. The blue is going crazy already. I'm not surprised, it's, it's just gorgeous, divine. Isn't it? It's so scandy. Absolutely it's gorgeous. gorgeous. I, I must admit, I was thinking of might get some of this fabric myself because it's really nice. Not that I need any more fabric with my stash. Well, yeah, but with the always need, need, need more fabric. Exactly. Need one. It's need like kind of like shoes. You don't really need. You only have one pair of feet. How many shoes do you really need? Quite a lot. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, I'm so like a centipede. <laughs> you work out where you're going to do an iron on. If you've got an ironing mat, which I don't because I'm I have a normal ironing board. Yes. You would sort of start in the middle, take them off, and then sort of work out because otherwise you can't really pin them all in, have them hanging down. Down if you've got okay, the yeah, board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so once you've done all that, you then cut your wadding and your you've already got your cut wadding and your back, and you pin them nice oh. and smoothly. I feel that the next stage has been pre-prepared. Like Look at blue this. Peter, isn't it? How organized. This is a bit further on, but it gives you the idea. You pin them so you've got your sandwich, that's your back, your wadding, and your front. Now this is this is what we were saying. So these are now pinned on in place. So this yeah. is the front of your cushion. Now you've you've used safety pins. We've got somewhere quilting safety pins on the website. Yeah, um, I love those. I didn't have any. This is is this eight no, nineteen inches, isn't yes. it? So this is nineteen inches by nineteen inches. Then your wadding, which comes in the kit, it's all in there. Again, 19 inches by 19 inches. In the book, it says to cut it wider, but you don't necessarily need it. You don't need it because, I mean, you're not doing masses of quilting. When you're no, doing lots and lots, you're doing lots in. of lines. It's not going to pull it in, to be honest. Now, this is where, in the kit, if mm. you only want to make one cushion, then that's absolutely fine. Use your beautiful linen on your backing fabric. But if you have a fabric that was less expensive, um, an old sheet or something like that, do that as your base, and yeah. then you've got enough fabric to make at least another cushion. Yeah, because you don't want to waste it, to be honest. No. Why would you? I mean, unless, of course, you're someone that likes to look at the back of cushions a lot. In but which that's case, even going to be inside, though. That's you're the thing. It's inside. It. Why would you see it? Um, so that's what we would say to you. Yes, if, you, if this is the only fabric that you have in your, in your life, then yes, of course, you're going to make one beautiful cushion inside and out. Um, but... If you want to make it go further and make another cushion, just use a, a less expensive fabric yeah. on, on the back there. Bit of scrap fabric and you're good to go. Yes. Over to you, Jess. So, um, you we always smooth out, everything's ironed, all that sort of stuff. You then start in the middle, the middle point. This is why I put, uh, I think in there, there's a, yeah, I think the bird circles in the, in the middle. You try and have someone in the middle and then you pin sort of fairly equal in lines going out. I have, as you can see, pinned in the circle, the middle of each circle as well so it's not completely in lines but then i know it'll hold so, so they won't all shift. of these could you do um 
tailor tacks? Yes, you can. I mean, I, I usually do. I know that my, when my mother did masses of, masses of quilts and she always used tacking because otherwise you're going to spend a fortune on pins. Oh. I mean, <laughs> and also these pins are great, but you, every now and then you might stab yourself in the leg when you're doing yeah, a bit of quilting, hand happens. quilting or something. Yeah. yeah. So for TV, um, because it says it in the book, I've actually used pins. Okay. Okay. So once you've actually done that, make sure it's all smooth. You start um, doing zigzag stitch in the middle. You, it says in the book to set it to, set your machine to, let me just... Let's have a look. Have what a little, actually, say? I'll have a Let's look at my notes, look, actually. It says in the book. It in here. Rather than my notes here. Well, I'm just, oh. You're on page moment. 62. 62? 62. Okay, so look, in the book, I mean, look, here we go. We're at this stage here in the book. Yeah, what I noticed about this when I was looking at it is why, that's going to be very difficult to zigzag stitch with a pin through it. So I put my pins in the middle. Otherwise, you're going to yes. be taking pins would, out. Would make yeah, more exactly. sense. Yeah, exactly. As long as you keep it smooth, you're absolutely fine. So it says to set it to on your sewing machine width 3.5, length two. So it's that specific. It's yeah. even telling you the well, optimum yeah. stitch length. Stitch length. And you you test anyway. But I mean, uh, the, I this is a very nice machine, um, and I was playing with it earlier, so obviously it's already set. But my machine is also a very nice machine, but it's not an electric one, so you just play around with the stitch length until you're okay. happy. And to yeah. be perfectly honest, I mean, that's very exact, so you can, you can do it whichever way you actually like. So you set that to that particular length, and then you start, um, well, you do a test first of all, you would start in the middle. So to do a test, you get my one I made earlier. So you can see that's it just sort of in there, as you can see what it looks like before so you actually pin it. So that's bonder webbed on. Bonder webbed on. So with on. the bonder web, you just iron it on and then it's on. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. And then you do a little test. This actually looks like a little apple. It's just a what scrap. What we were saying earlier, yeah. wouldn't it be nice to do that? Oh, no, it's a little sort of, you can even cut out little leaves from this or put a bird on. It's so much fun playing with fabric. You start with this, don't yeah. you? You start, you start from this point with your circles, and then, like you say, you suddenly your think, oh, actually, it looks like an apple, and it I does. could add in leaves. Um, and then it's up to you. So this is that's your that's test, my test to make sure yeah, that you're... Yeah, just to see you're happy with it and to see what it looks like on the back. So you can actually see what... So once you've done your test, you would then, and I've already started, you would then start sewing. So Is there an order to sew these on? Yes, yeah, start in the middle yeah. and then work out. Because then, and also whenever you're saying sort of flatten as you go, because otherwise it will go puffy. Okay. Yeah. I quite like that cruelty effect. Oh, well, yeah. But I mean, but as in like you might get too much fabric sort of between two. So easier to just sort of spread as you go. So, yeah, I've done quite a lot and I've left three. My three, this lovely one with the bird print because I love looking at would that. You like to, would you like to show us how to set, uh, set I that? I will. Yeah, so yeah, let's just start then. with this one. So make sure the needle is up. Because this Pull might be something... Um, that would that would worry someone at home yeah. you know if you've got to go round a circle yeah absolutely check which way i think that's probably in let's just move the stitch a sec sorry there so you can see where the outside that's on the outside point there so just hand crank it because it's a zigzag your needle is going to move across yeah. so just hand crank it so it's at the furthest point yeah and then you know that that's going to line yeah where do you want that to line on the edge of your fabric uh, yes, yeah, so that's lined so you know it's on the edge, so you start on the outside and work your way in. What mm. you can also use, this is a sort of standard presser sort of foot. What I uh, like to use is like an embroidered foot which is actually sort of clear. Oh, okay. Because then you can really see where you're going. But that's, I, I tend to like seeing those anyway, but this is absolutely fine with these. Well, so you don't need to use a walking foot if you don't want to? No. There we go. So just put one down and then hopefully live TV. Yeah, this the joys. Fine. So you just. Keep going. If it's getting a bit twisty like this, it will do. Roll it up, move it round. Oh, that needle's not even in, you see, live oh, telly. So not keep it in so the needle down. So not keeping down. it in, first um, thing in the morning. That's one of those things, isn't it? it I is. do this. My machine will always stay in the needle down position and it always foxes me if I'm on a machine that then doesn't, and I'm just used to it being down. Yeah, so it's a just new machine. Watch, make sure that that needle is down so that when you turn, your needle stays in the same position and Absolutely. you're good to go. And you keep, as you can see, smooth as you go so keep it nice and smooth as you say it doesn't really matter smooth if it's puffy now i like that and actually if you, up again you see because i'm not if paying you don't, attention um, 
if you don't pre-wash your fabric as well, then yeah. when you do first put it through the wash, it'll probably get that puffy effect anyway. A lot of um, quilting fabrics have already been pre-washed anyway, to be honest. But yeah, I mean, if you're planning on putting this in the washing machine loads, I would always. But just be careful, sometimes it can sort of like thread at the edge. I quite like I'd, that effect. Yeah, I tend to, if I'm going to put something in the washing machine, I made a member making masses of bunting for a, randomly enough, a law firm in the city for their Christmas party. I made a... Like a hundred and something metres, it was ridiculous. <gasps> That's um, a lot of bunting. You did I say you know. like making bunting, I love, to be fair. I love bunting. There's something did about bunting Did you still love mountains. making bunting I do. after a hundred plus metres? Yeah, I was looking at your, your lovely bunting over there. I've got my eye on that as well. I don't need any more fabric, but I just love it. Anyway, so, and obviously I'm doing this for sort of like speed with live TV, and you would line this up completely, whereas this isn't particularly well lined up. But you just go all the way around. Keep going. Bit of thread there. And it's up to you. I mean, you, you yeah. know, take your time at home. You don't have to rush exactly. it. We only have an hour show to show you as much as we possibly can. Now, what it actually says in the book mm -hmm. is, that's why the needle is up, is um, it says to actually, I mean, I'll take this off now. There you go. The tiniest, the most cutest. Aren't they gorgeous? I love these. The little rose, rose gold. Rose gold. Ones. Rose gold's everywhere, isn't it? I have mm. my eye on those as well. So sad. Anyway. What it actually says is in the book, it says um, to take your, let's show you one I've already done, take your thread through from the front. Let's see if we can see one with the join. No, you can't really see it actually. Take it through from the front so you can't actually see an overlap. So you'd pull that, you sort of like line it up so your final stitch lines up with. You, see, so you can't even see. You can't even see this. No. Is, that's how. You can't even see on any of them actually. You've, so you've done such a good job. So basically. Not let's, necessarily on that one, that's not particularly good. That's let's like show from here. Hang on, that Hang one's on, it's all caught up, yeah. So where, where your thread started and finished... You use a needle or whatever, pull it through and then tie it off at the back. But on this one, we're just sort of overlapping here, but you would actually tie it off at the back so it's got a perfect zigzag going all the way around. So get a needle. And if you're buying for the first time with us, good morning. If you're buying this kit, then you will actually get... Our sewing quarter. Um, yeah, little, I want me little, one of those. <laughs> little mini pack. Um, new. That's going out to all new customers spending over ten pounds today, not including P and P. Uh, just grab yourself the needle out of there, and then, then you just thread up that yeah. that thread and pop it through. And then, how do you tie it off on the back? You then just tie the threads like this into like a double knot, and then you cut them off because you're not going to see this. Yeah. You're really not going to see it at all. It's going to be hidden with an envelope pad on top of it, and then the, the I mean, the, the cushion pad, and then the envelope on top. No, so you can see these ones have been oh, tied on. off. It's this, it's this one that we, oh, no, look, going all over the place, but they've all got, they've pick, all got pick, them pick like one, that. anyone. So, there like go. That. so ignore this one. This one is not perfect, but these ones are. Because these Lovely. are the ones I did earlier. <laughs> I did it so, so you do that. You put all of your circles. Um, do I have time to do the other two? Yes. Or? Okay. I'm going to need you two? to do those other two um, because I'm going to go and show everybody the other colourways. So you cool. stitch around there in exactly the way that we just did, yep. taking your time, going around the circle, and then we'll have all of those done. Yep. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Lovely. Come with me. Right. Let's start here with. Oh, let's start with the blue because we've got the details up on the screen already. And so many of you going for the blue this morning. I don't blame you. It's gorgeous. So not uh, this is a this is a big. Yeah. OK, so almost half of the stock of this already gone. Um, this is it. Look at that. So half a meter of each of the fabrics. This is the one that we absolutely love. Look at that beautiful bird fabric there. So. The detailing in there, absolutely stunning. Now, how many circles did we cut out of these? Very, very few. So you're going to have loads. And what we actually thought was there's no reason to stop you from then doing one um, a cushion actually in reverse. So having the main fabric of your cushion out of this and then with your plain doing your circles out of the plain fabric. I call this plain and yet it's so not because when you look at it in detail, again, another half meter of this, you've got that linen effect in there. So you're not working with, with different, um, different weights of fabric that is printed on there. That is the print on the fabric, which gives it that depth and dimension, uh, which just works beautifully. And then you see, you could also do then the rest of your circles in your lovely gingham. This is a very grown up gingham, isn't it? Or maybe you want to use that on the back of it. 
Um, but you're going to have plenty of fabric to make yourself at least two cushions. $23.95. So in, in addition to all of that fabric, you're also going to get your thread. So we've got you the thread so that you know that that thread is going to work perfectly with it. We've also got you your bond aware because obviously this is an applique cushion, uh, quilted. And of course, because it's quilted, we've put you in there also um, your wadding as well. Now that is over me. Oh, well, you get loads. That's um, 114 centimetres by 152. That would do you six cushions. Six, that's enough wadding for six cushions. That's crazy. Uh, now, so that's the blue. Your code for that, BHGC, I believe 31, but it's gone. Uh, now, yeah, it was 31. Should we go pink? Yeah, let's go pink. Um, so within this, Oh, this is your seven berry fabric. So this is a Japanese cotton in this one. Very, very pretty. Very pretty on that dusky pink, ever so pretty. Um, and this, uh, like I say, is from seven berry, which is a Japanese company. And you're getting half a meter of that. Lovely. And then again, you've got that linen effect in there. And again, this is 100% cotton. This is going to wash beautifully. That's your linen effect there. And then we've put you in a gingham. We do like a gingham here. Um, and it also is incredibly popular at the moment. So there's your pink gingham in there with that kit as well. Just making it very, very pretty. So DH. GC31 and of course we've popped in your thread as well um, and Bondaweb and your wadding all in there for $23.95. Now the last one and this takes me back this this was the color of my bedroom growing up absolutely love it is your lilac. So here it's all about the spots and squares so we've given you half a meter of your lilac. Now we don't have as many of these ones, so if you're after these, please make sure that you get your lilac quickly. $23.95 UNGC05. That gives you your polka dot, your thread, of course, matching thread, very important. Um, again, that lovely linen, half a meter of that. There's just so much fabric in here, isn't there? There we go. And then you've got, of course, your lovely, this is, this is sort of springtime for me. It always made me happy having this beautiful purple. There you go, there's your lilac in there. That's in your gingham. So those, of course, working beautifully together there. And you can just get the idea of how gorgeously those are going to work. So there we go, that's your kit. Each kit coming with your bond web and your wadding. Enough wadding, actually, for six cushions. So by the time that you've, uh, you get going with this, you're going to have loads. $23.95, we do like you to have plenty. Now, the inspiration came from the book. And this is your beginner's guide to quilting book. We've got 16 projects to learn to quilt with. That's the joy of it. If you're new to quilting, but you know, you just like to make things, then why not give this a go? So we found this on page 62. Ooh. So actually all of that is all of your step-by-step -step guides and instructions on equipment and, and different techniques. And then it's split up into your projects. So then you get your projects in there. Loving that. Um, they're all through here. So whether you're doing hand sewing on here as well. You've got table runners. Uh, you can use up some of your scraps with some of these. Um, and then this is, the, this is the project that we're doing with the circle cushion. Lovely. And then, oh, Jess, are you tying knots? I am, apart from I managed to split one off because I'm that clever. Oh, hang on, wait, we'll, we'll show Hi, that Sally. in just one moment. Slow-mo. Um, Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come bring that into okay. the middle. Because we've so, talked about this. Let's actually show yeah. it. So I pull, ignore that one because I've just cut one off. We've just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, no, it's there. Actually, so you pull it through or use a needle. I've actually just pulled it through. So when you finish sewing, you'll yes. have a thread on the top of your fabric. Yes. That's the one that you then thread with a needle, pull through to the yeah. underside of your cushion. You either thread with a needle if you're doing exact or because we're doing now, you just pull from the back and it will pull the, the other thread through, which is linking to it which I just have, and then you just 
tie it off. Literally as if you're tying your laces. Yeah, absolutely. I was thinking about this cushion, actually. One of the things I love about it, look, you've got the hoops on the wall. I love that. House of two boys, never going to happen. Um, hoops on the wall with fabric boys, Lego. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. You know, football, it only takes yeah. a stray football and they're all crashing to the floor. Exactly. Anyway, what I love about this cushion is all your lovely fabrics you've got in your stash. You can just pick your favourites for You've got an summer, excuse, haven't you? You've Christmas got an excuse fabric. to have a little snippet of that fabric. Yeah. Or if you've got a little bit left, then this is the perfect project for those, you know, maybe you've got some beautiful, expensive fabric that you've oh. just got a little bit left of and you just don't know what to do with it. It's not enough for a full project. Project, but if you want to mix and match it in then you can yeah. so once you've got the book and you've got all of those ideas you've got it so you've also got in here it's going to show you how to do some patchworking in there as well oh pillow okay so Kath sent a message it hasn't come down to my um to my tablet producer Hayley um saying that um no oh here we go pillow protectors Yes. It's good for fabrics for your backing. Yeah, you yes, see all course. these top tips. Yeah, but yeah, perfect. And you can get those really inexpensively yeah, exactly. as well. We've got a question as well when that comes down. Thank you for getting in touch. Uh, hasn't come down yet. It'll come down in a minute. Uh, let's carry on showing you this book. Oh, I like this crazy, crazy design up here. Yeah, I love it. It's just, it's just loads of different little ideas. You can't think of the love that. Isn't it gorgeous? That's just gorgeous hand done as well. It's just so pretty. So lots of inspiration in here once you get going. It's everything from smaller projects, mm. manageable projects. And then when you get your creative flair going and those juices flowing, then look, you can do anything up to a large size quilt in here. And it's there. And it's going to take you all the way through. I love that's that one. That's pretty as well, really isn't it? Really pretty. So that's why we love these books. Wall hanging. I love the wall hangings too. Get that fabric up on the wall. You see your wall hanging you could get up on yeah. the wall. That would be safe. Look at that. I just love the vintage fabrics on that. Isn't it gorgeous? It just reminds me of bedding in the 70s. Yeah. Do you remember those? Yeah. Ish. <laughs> just snacking at the end of the 70s. Just telling you. I'm yeah. so old. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to not say yes because they were left over into, into when I remember. They were there in the early 90s when you were... Um, yeah, well, I mean, we had those, we had that sort of fabric in our house. I still have know. some of those. Some of them ended up as um, painting sheets. I remember that. But yeah, I had... that everybody had yeah, those. Exactly. If you did any kind of DIY, yeah. then you'd take out the old curtains and the old Exactly. Yeah. Um, 14 95 gets you the Beginner's Guide to Quilting Book by Elizabeth Betts. It's 14 95 You've got 16 different projects in there. It's less than a pound a project. Mm -hmm. You'd pay a lot more for a pattern, wouldn't you? Um, now, uh, I still don't have that other. What's the question, produce Haley? Because it's not. No, it's not come down. Kath says, "Good morning, morning." What's the difference between oh. stabilizer, wadding, and fusible, fusible web, bonder web? I think the means just said fusible, fusible web. wadding, where you can actually iron it on. So this one, you can't. You can, I, you, you can get projects where you actually iron it on. This one... That's a good question, by the way, because that was always one that absolutely foxed me when I started. Yeah, and the thing I about... wanted to go into a haberdashery store to get some, but I wasn't sure what I was asking for. I certainly wouldn't have known the difference in weights. We're going to yeah, talk about weights ask, yeah. in 10 o'clock, aren't we, in our yeah. 10 o'clock show. Um, but then, and then when I knew what wadding was, well, what type of wadding... Well, my, my favourite wadding when I'm doing sort of quilts the occasion when I get round to it for babies and things is bamboo. That's lovely because oh, it, really it's, really, nice. it's, it's really, you know, mm. it's good for them and it's really nice to wash and it just feels lovely. Um, or this, this is a basic polyester. The iron-on stuff is really useful for bags because it makes it more sort of solid. Gives it that extra yeah. rigidity, doesn't so you, it? You get a lot of, sort of bag kits or you can actually buy it for making bags and you do iron-on. Whereas this one's much easier because it moves around more. So, and what was the other one? So, and then there was, so there was your fusible... Yeah, that's the iron-on Fusible iron-on fleece or wadding, yeah. that's, that irons on. Not as then, puffy. Yeah, but what you're puffier. getting in here is a lovely lofty um, wadding. So that's just, that's just normal wadding, that's normal polyester wadding, uh, which means you can throw it through the wash, nice yeah. and easy to work with. So that's what you're getting in the kit, so you don't have to worry about which is which. The bonder web, now the bonder web is basically... Um, that's, oh, that's the iron-on stuff. When you iron it on, 
you get one side that's papery and yeah. one side that's gluey. Iron it with the paper upwards so you don't glue your yeah, iron. Yeah, check because you can catch the like the sort of gluey bits, sort of like, it's like speckles. Yeah, and they catch. speckles. Yeah. And so that's the bit that then melts onto the fabric. So now that's that now has a paper there. I'd just get a, a pin and just scratch that if you can't find the edge and then take that paper off. When that paper is off, you've then got another gluey side. So it's double-sided glue. Yeah. Effectively, it's like double-sided tape. It's like putting, yeah, it's, for, it's just yeah. transferring the glue onto the fabric. And so that's why when you then take that backing off and put that onto your cushion and iron it on, that then the glue the other side melts mm. and that will then hold it onto your fabric so that you can then applique and stitch around that yeah. on. What I would say about Bonder Web, this is a tip from ages ago, is with your iron, mm. always make sure, I tend to use a, a cloth, it says a very sort of manufacturing instructions say different way of doing it, but um, I tend to put a cloth between the iron and um, any sort of paper, just in case, because the last thing you want is little black glue streaks on your ironing board and on your iron, because they will always transfer onto fabric. I use just an old piece of cotton, yeah, an old and hanky just, or yeah, something like that. Sorry, it doesn't matter. Actually, the yeah. muslins aren't smooth, are they, thinking about it? Well, I just, I, that's, and that's all I do. And then if there's any glue, it just goes onto that and not yeah. onto your iron or, like you say, your ironing board. Yeah. But that's it. So, but within the kit, Kath, you get your wadding that's perfect for the job and you also get your bonder web so you're not having to worry and actually this is a great kit for that because you might not know going to a shop mm. what you need and uh, you know I just used to loiter in various sections hoping that, that so someone dodgy. I know I know I felt dodgy doing it just sort of loitering looking a bit helpless hoping that someone that knew more than I did would come and help me and of course they didn't because I just looked weird you just have to ask well, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that would have been helpful. Would be but helpful. I didn't want to show my ignorance. No, you don't because you feel a bit embarrassed. Yeah, like, oh, absolutely. Not sure. So forget all of that. It's all coming in the kit. So if you're new to Bonder Web, if you're new to wadding, it doesn't matter. Give it a go. It's in the kit. It's a great beginner's starter kit. Yeah, I love Bonder Web. It's one of my favourite things to have. I have yeah. so much fun with it, making little patterns and things. So this is, this is what we're making. This is what the final product will look like. Um, now, this is out of the pink kit. Twenty-three ninety-five. You're getting a meter and a half of fabric. How pretty is this? It's so vintage, isn't it? It's isn't lovely. It? They isn't actually go really gorgeous? well together. You could mix them. You could. You really could. DHGC thirty-one twenty-three ninety-five. That's for the pink. Now we've so we've so far so far we have sewn yes. on all our circles. They're all on. We've still got all the safety pins. What's next? Um, you take the pins out. So I'll take the pins out. All of them. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, let me just look at my little The books are down. Again. Oh, the book. We're going to get you the book details down the bottom there. So if you're after the book details, that are at the bottom of your screen. Yeah. So we take all the pins out. Take all the pins out. So yep. take all the pins out. And then it's time to prepare the envelope backing. Okay. So I have made one earlier because I do that. Um, clear that back to a one. So um, there we go. So you take all the pins out, make it all nice and smooth. Make sure it's sort of it's still the same size you want. Cut any off if you want to, if you want to make it smaller or bigger, or, well, I mean, not bigger, cut it to make it bigger. It's hilarious, isn't it? I cut my hair to make it longer. <laughs> anyway. yeah, hairdressers will tell you that. They yeah. say, well, if you want your hair to grow, you must cut it. <laughs> really? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> not the case of fabric. Not the case of fabric. Anyway, so you do that. Um, you take all the pins out and you also make your envelope backing. So I'll you take the pins out and you show the, pins the envelope, so backing. envelope backing. I've already made these up for speed. So you've done these using the contrasting yeah, fabrics. Yeah, I just thought it was you? really nice and I thought I didn't want to waste this because I was going to make a couple anyway. I thought let's just use, I know I won't be using this one. I mean, just look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? These would be, I make little badges as well. I just oh. love this for little fussy cutting. Do you know what? I know that you are the denim queen. I, if you had to <laughs> put a, a patch on Oh, little pockets. Oh, that'll just be saying. lovely. No, I just, just I saying. just love that. So it says to cut yours by, I mean, it says it in the book. Let's just see what I can actually Well, it's going to be 19 inches yeah, long, 19, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's it? by 15. But then yeah, um, 15 go. inches, because this is, this is always the question mm. that, um, that we always get asked. When doing an envelope back, because an envelope back will overlap. Yes. Um, and 
if you don't do enough of an overlap, then you get that thing where someone's just not wearing a top that's quite long enough and, uh, and you get a bit of mid-drift. You don't Muffin want cushion mid-drift. No, no. <laughs> drift so cushion. make sure <laughs> that, your, uh, that your overlap is long enough. Yeah, this is actually so quite a wide don't... overlap. I mean, it's, it, you can just see it's about there. You can, I can feel it there. I don't tend to do them as wide. But that's because I like saving fabric. Because I bit love of an extravagant. It's an but, extravagant you know, use. If but, you want to, then you can. Yeah. So you get your 19 by 15. You would then, I'll show you on the other side actually. You would then fold that back half an inch and press, mm -hmm. and then fold it back another half an inch and press again, mm -hmm. and then you top stitch all the way down to hold it. Now that means that that's not going to fray. No. And it, it, it's, a nice, it's a nice little thing. You can, you know, just have it with a frayed edge, but who wants that? I don't know. No, exactly. So you do it from both. Know. So you see I've done them from both there. And then you work out which fabric you want to have see most of. Oh, 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 Ooh, let me guess I know. No, you see that this is, and this is the bit that takes me the longest. Working it out. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't matter how many cushions I've made, it still takes me, I still have to double check which way round it Everyone goes. Everyone always does, you always, always do. Because you're like, is that right? Yeah, that's, that'll be right. Because you're thinking about it, this is actually right sides up, obviously. Yeah. So you work out 19 inches back from, this is 35 here, what's 35 minus 19? Should we go this way? <laughs> right, so 19 there. So nice having this big mat. It's a bit of a treat, isn't it? Oh, I love this. You would never want to work on a small mat again, would you? I'm getting me. You see, I don't have any of this stuff because um, I have obviously all the sort of sewing. Fernacery. Yes. Fernacery. Great word. I made it up. Do you like it? Yes. Um, and we'll use it we're again. Getting, you may have it. Thanks. Anyway. Um, but I have a half mat and I've got to get a big mat. You've got to get a big mat. Look, if you lovely. want a big mat, there you go. There's the details for it. 39.95 for a big mat. Obviously, don't let your boys stick and glue on it, for goodness sakes. <sighs> or Lego. I made that mistake. Yeah, that, yeah. I have glitter I think all I... over mine. So oh. I now, well, I now have one side for, for me and one side for Freddie. And actually, I've now put his own on his, um, on his desk. I like Cut that. It in, so it's all slid I like the fact he has a desk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And at bedtime, he goes and sits at his desk and tells me he can't possibly go to bed because he's got work to do. You'll have to give him a briefcase. <laughs> and, then, and then he pulled out his chair the other day. There was glitter on it. He said, beautiful work. I've got beautiful work to do. You're like, yeah, Freddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School so soon. So which way around? If so, I want... Oh, hang on. No. Well, which one do you want on top? Exactly. I mean, I've, obviously, I've gone for this one because I just, I just love this one. This is absolutely divine. Um, it is so pretty that I might have to... Uh, keep some of this for something I do not know but in this fabric stash that you have and take out there, there are some fabrics you buy and you might have the same thing that you actually have to have them and you will never do anything with you just take them out and look at my mother had oh, yeah. some of those yeah, yeah. she said to me these this this fabric which you will never cut up and I said really she said yes you'll never cut this up isn't it beautiful I've got a few of those and I have no, a few no, of those no, no. you just buy them and sometimes you think you will, and then you have this moment but then with then you then when you actually do you feel so nice because you've used it I've got one I remember my stuff I've yeah I've had some stuff for material for years yeah. and not used it and then when I did finally get it out and and use it like you say and and of course now it's actually in the house and I can see it and appreciate exactly. it so we're gonna have the birds top up yes. the most because we're running out of time we've only got five minutes left oh my goodness me I'm so sorry right okay yeah, that's because right. I, I I don't um shut up I talk a lot anyway so because this is a directional print make sure that your birds are facing the same way ah okay? yes we do not want australian no. birds on one side no now in the book it's a, it's sort of got envelopes whichever way you actually want it but just bear in mind how you prefer to open it whether it's at the front or the side or at the side so because it's directional there's no right or wrong way no, no, is it? no. it's just, just it's your house you do what you like so you would then yeah. My house pin moves. make sure that is still 19 because you we can't do it on there make sure that is still 19 and pin to hold mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and pin down there to hold yep. it. I always put central one in anyway. Okay. Um, just so it just so it holds, because otherwise you don't really want to move around. You would then put this on top, pin it all the way around, mm -hmm. check you're actually happy with it. Um, you don't need to stitch this bit. You then get your bias um, strips. Because you actually need some cushions you do bias binding, but this one, oh hang on, let's have a look. Oh no, sorry, I'm doing my way around. Right, okay. 
That Hang way on, around. no, because yeah, because yeah, because this is different. This is different. What, what I like about this bias binding can be really faffy if you're not used to it. It puts you off, like piping a cushion. The first time you think about piping a cushion, you go, "I'll put that to one side." Not do, do that, that. Do that later. I'll just do number it yes. back again. This, what I like about this, you can see, this has actually got, you know, it's got strips around the out, that's outside instead. So. You're not doing any sort of reverse bit, of course, that's so way around. So actually, I don't have no, to. No, you don't. It's that way around. So You're right, of course. So whichever way around, because I was looking at that thinking, hang no, on. No, no, it's because I'm thinking of something else. Doing the maths thinking, yeah, no. hang on, that's the wrong way around if we're no, going to do it, it that way. But no, you add the you binding around the front, the Exactly. So ignore that. So this, on the right way around, do it that way around. So you can see is that way around. So you've got cushions there, print there, print there. So it matches. Oh, matches. Everything's matches. matching. Yep. Pin it all again. Check you're all right. Yes. And then you get your bias strips very quickly because I know you're about to run out of time, aren't we? You cut four, mm -hmm. deciding which print you actually want. Obviously, I went for two of each because there were two fabrics and you makes know. sense. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. two times two is four, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you cut your strips. It says the actual size in the book. Might be able to tell you very quickly. Uh, Nineteen by three. Three. Yeah, three. You would then fold that in half and press it. Mm -hmm. And you pin it and you stitch all the way along there. Mm -hmm. Half an inch, I think, I can't remember, mm -hmm. says in the book. You then fold that over to the other side. Hang on, way around. There, sorry. Like that. Mm -hmm. so you've got the raw edge there. Fold it over to the other side. And then you would disguise your line of stitching by slip stitching that or in place. Let me show you. Let me show you this. So actually, that doesn't have to be cut on the bias, does it? That can no. just be cut no, straight. No, because bias, a bias you it's, just... it's just going straight, so you don't need to. Yeah, exactly. So let me show you along here. So you, you've stitched it along there and then folded it over. Yes. Let so me you stitch it on the front and then you here. fold it over. So where that's folded over, this is now on the back. Just slip stitch along there. Done. Now you said to us with the gingham. Mm. Just cut a straight line. Because this is a printed gingham, you won't necessarily be straight. The only way to get a true straight gingham is if it's actually the thread colour itself yeah. that's the gingham. So don't worry about, you know, don't cut along that because if you want that straight line, just, just cut yeah, it with absolutely. your ruler and your rotary cutter or whatever. Um, your cushion pad for this that's the right side is down there. TQGQ12 for the cushion pad, and that's $6.95. Pop that into your order, however many you think you're going to be making with these. But what a beautiful, personalised cushion. As many dots as you want. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's coming out of the book that we've had on the show for you today. The blue one that we've been making today is $23.95. You're going to manage to make at least two cushions out of the kit which is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful. I just love it. It's got such a lovely old feel to it. It's the most gorgeous blue as well. It is, isn't it? It's that antique -y yeah, feel. Yeah, it's an antique -y feel. Yes. Um, you know, sort of, that's your Asiatic pheasant shade, Ooh, isn't Asiatic it? Asiatic really pheasant, lovely. I like yeah. that. Yeah. 23.95 BHGC31. Um, and so then, do you, I love the fact that that's bound. Now, you see, I would say if, of course, binding feels too much for you, yeah, just do then an envelope. Just do a, do a normal one. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to say you can do this the way that suits you, the way that your level dictates. Absolutely. I would just would say if you're not going to do um, the binding, when you're doing it sort of where the actual right sides are together, when you stitch way around, don't forget to clip those corners because it is going to be really puffy. Bulky. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, you should clip corners anyway, but definitely if doing something like this, otherwise it will be, it will be a bit sort of, it won't be particularly angular. It'll be more like a... Mm. <laughs> More technical terms. technical terms. We've had new words, we've had new technical terms, we've had all sorts going on. <laughs> Jess, thank you. Thank you very um, much. You've been so much fun. And this absolutely beautiful, whether you're going for the, uh, the lilac, the pink or the blue, they're now all on the website for you to choose from. Peruse at your leisure, but know that over half the stock of the blue is gone already. Um, you're going to come back in I an am. hour, go and have a little cup of tea, feet up. Chill out, do whatever you need to do for an hour. I will. Um, and then you're coming back with? With um, really nice um, storage cubes in, I think it's called the Galaxy Print. Yes. Oh, I just, oh, for, for mum of boys, I, I was. It's perfect. It's gorgeous. So we will see you then. Uh, stay with me because we're sorting out those girls' rooms next. 
follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Join us on the 17th of May when Joe Carter will be showcasing a brand new cuddly creation. Inspired by the popular children's nursery rhyme, Joe Carter has exclusively designed for Sewing Quarter these adorable owl and pussycat softies, complete with their own pea green boat. She'll take you through this project step by step. So join Joe at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. to make sure you don't miss out. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Join me, Natasha, on Saturday the 13th of May when the circus is coming to town. I'll be showing you Tilda's beautiful new circus range of fabric, which is a wonderful collection of florals and elephants. The combinations of greens, blues, teals and creams will create some stunning and unique sewing and quilting designs. So join me and Tilda's new circus fabric range on Saturday the 13th of May at 11am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Welcome back to the Sewing Quarter. Now this hour we're sorting out those girls' bedrooms. Um, for me, this is the best fabric. If you have um, a child sort of 12 or under, then this is it. It's got rainbows, it's got hearts, it's got unicorns and castles. What more could you possibly ask for of a fabric? Um, it is just such a pretty fabric. Um, and I don't know about you, but for me, when it comes down to decorating children's rooms, I know their tastes are gonna change. So I want something that I can inject color, I can inject some prettiness in there, um, but actually I'm not gonna have to repaint the whole room every time they change their minds. So this is a really easy way to inject that prettiness in a useful way into their room um, and just really make it super, super gorgeous um, without having to paint bright pink walls or this, that and the other. So if you've got, like me, I mean, we rent, so I, I don't really wanna have to repaint everything. Um, just a plain white or whatever color you've got in, in those bedrooms, let's get decorating. Let's get making these rooms personalized and super gorgeous. So 
to start off with bunting. I mean, what better way to cheer up a bedroom? Now, you may have never made bunting before. Fear not, because this comes as a panel, which I will show you later. But this is how your bunting is going to look. Um, and it's, it, you just cut it out of the panel. Super easy. So $6.95 gets you your bunting panel. Um, I-A-M-Y-30 is what will get you this. So this makes bunting very, very, very inexpensive. $6.95. And that just cheers up any room. Whether they've got bunk beds and you're going to decorate it around there. I just have it down a wall uh, in Freddie's bedroom. Not this one, but other bunting. And it just cheers it up. It personalizes it, makes it absolutely gorgeous. The other thing to do, lampshades and, um, and your, your light fixtures and fittings. That's another way to very inexpensively dress up that child's bedroom. So... The lampshade kit, we've got large ones, we've got various sizes on the website. The, uh, this one is a 30 centimeter one. The one we've got here for you today is 40 centimeter. So if you want a larger one um, round, you know, in the, in the bedroom, round the, uh, round the actual light, overhead light, then you can do that. So with, with your lampshade kits, um, they will do lamp and overhead, it just depends which way around. Actually, if I take this off, then I can show you. It just depends which way around you put that light fitting on. Okay, that's the only difference. If I'd have wanted this um, to be as a light pendant from hanging from an overhead, then I just would have attached that on the top. I would have done that on the top one. They are so easy. I was at the, um, the handmade... Um, handmade fair yesterday, Kirsty Ossop's handmade fair yesterday, and there was a stand just with all of these beautiful lampshades on. They looked absolutely spectacular, and I thought, you know what? Actually, I looked at the price of them. You can make your own for a fraction um, in the fabric that you want to match everything else uh, than the one that we've used here is your fantasy scenic fabric. And I just think that's gorgeous. £5.95, HPMY08. Do you know, I've got lots of friends, actually, when their kids turn sort of five, six, seven, you know, not quite sure what to do for a birthday. And actually what they do is they decorate the bedroom. And, and so they get the, the child sort of wakes up in this beautiful bedroom uh, or comes back from school and it's all beautifully decorated. Could you imagine curtains in some of these? Now, uh, does your child have a little desk or something in their bedroom? Do they do the homework in the bedroom or just, you know, they make a mess. Then we've got a bin for you as well. Now the bin kit, again, you choose the fabric that goes around it. It's super easy to put together. Um, and if you want to make your own bin, it's 13.95. You add the fabric. I'll show you how much fabric later. Um, Z-N-D-E-89 for that. Yeah, so actually if we got, is this the bin kit here? There you go. So you will need um, 85 centimetres by 40 centimetres of fabric. Now, when I made the bin, if I just show you, I used, I had a metre of this and a metre of this fabric. I had so much left over that I took it home and I made a cushion. There you go. I still had some left over. I made a little bag as well for my niece who'd just broken her arm. Sent that off for her as well. So actually all out of a metre of each of these fabrics. There you go. So the bin is made out of the fantasy hearts on a grey background and that's 5 95 Now that is fab. Now we've also got a clock. Are your kids going to be on time? Hey. They are now. Uh, so this is the clock making kit as well. So you can use whatever fabric you want. Now we've done this for the girls' bedroom. Next hour, we've got the galaxy prints. If you're decorating for a boys' bedroom, um, you know, we say that, of course, you know, you might have girls that, that love galaxy, in which case you know who you're making for. 10.95, that's the clock making kit. Comes with the clock mechanism and everything else. Now you see actually, we talk about the clock making kit. We did actually make one up with the fabric that we had left over from the cushion kit that we've just shown you. So actually, if you wanted to make the cushion that we had from the earlier show and then with the fabric you've got left over, 
then you can have a matching clock. But the clock making kit is 1095 AODE07, but it just gives you an idea of what you can do with your fabrics. So let me show you. <laughs> Producer Haley wants to circle cut out that fabric. We've got the circle cutter on this hour as well, but I want to go through these fabrics to really show you everything that we've got for you. Now, um, I'm going to show, look, here they all are. Here we go. Let's go through all of these. The range is gorgeous together. So whichever ones you're going for, mix and match them in. It works an absolute treat. Do you know, I was thinking, producer Haley about these fabrics the other day and I was thinking actually you could um, also make duvet covers you could you could so you could do the whole thing so you could have um, your duvet out of that you could have I don't know how many um, pillows your kids have but you could have a stripy pillow underneath how about that for a, a kid's bedroom set it just, you know, it's entirely up to you how you want to do with this. Now, curtains, bedspreads, quilts, whatever you're making from these, they work really beautifully. Uh, now, let's go bunting. Go bunting. Now, I think this is just so clever. This is your bunting panel here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 bunting panels, all with gorgeous different designs on. Really, really pretty. Now, this is the clever thing about it. You'll notice down the sides, if you want to use these floral strips, then you can. You can cut along there and you can make, you can do your bunting along from there if you wish so you could make your own binding from there so you just you'd cut down there we've got bias binder makers for you so you would just cut there and then that would be your central part so you can do that 6.95 for this okay very cleverly put together down the the other selvage as well you've got the same so if you want to use that for, your, for the actual string of the bunting, then you can. Now, you might want to do this so that actually it's just going against the wall. Uh, you're not going to see the other side of it. You could just use a pair of pinking shears and just cut those out using your pinking shears and that would, that would do it. You'd just have to sew along the top. In which case, $6.95 and you've got yourself a 16 piece of bunting job done um, so the pinking shoes that we've got for you today here they are uh, so the pinking shears of course mean that it's not going to fray so if this is just going up purely as decoration in your kids bedroom then you can do it just with a pair of pinking shears and then you don't have to back so if you if you want bunting in a hurry Maybe you're decorating for a birthday or something like that. Um, $14.95 gets you your pinking shears. Um, and then you could, producer Haley, is it all right to cut into this? Yeah. So then all you would do is just cut, use the white line as your edge. And you see, there you go. You've got that pinking sheared out all cut out, ready to go. And then you, all you need to do is just sew along the top and then that's done. But if you wanted to line it and have it so that it's good sturdy bunting that can go through the wash, it can be outside, it can be everywhere else, then you would just line it. Just get a, you know, one of our fabric planes and, and cut out the same size, sew around, turn it inside out, uh, back to front. So uh, here we go. If... You don't want to use the floral fl uh, flowers on there for, you know, the actual lining. Then we've got all sorts of different options for you. We've got all the rick rack, or we've got this, which is uh, your trimming. So if you just want a natural trim, then we've got that for you. So this is going to work. Can I open this one or not? Oh, we'll get, we'll get one. We'll get one in a minute that's already been opened. Um, so that will be your natural trim if you want to. Then 
Do you know, this can be as easy as you want it to be. So all you would need to do then is literally just fold that over the top of your bunting, sew in a straight line. If you can sew in a straight line, you've got bunting. It's, it, it is that simple. You can get as fancy as you like with bunting. And we've got a book that gives you so many different ideas in just one moment. But if you're after, if this is one of the first things that you've ever made for your kid's bedroom, then if you can sew in a straight line, you can make this bunting. You can wash it at 40 degrees. It's 100% cotton, so it's really child friendly. Absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine their faces when they come home and their bedroom is all decorated? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, 20 meters of bunting with that trim, gosh. Um, so that is your that is your panel. I think that's just such a great idea. And of course, it gives you such a different, you've got so many different pictures as well with that, with that bunting. Now, let's go back, here we go. Let's go with this one because this is, we've seen this quite a lot. Now this is your fantasy scenic on white. This is a meter here, but of course you can buy it by the half meter. So it's up to you how much you get, but you can just see it's one of those things that from afar, it just looks like a pretty fabric. But when you get in close, you start to see all of those details. So 595 HP MY 08. You've got the rainbows. You've got the unicorns. Um, you've got sort of lollipop trees in there, um, hearts and flowers, uh, unicorns, castles. It's got everything. It is a dream, an absolute dream. Again, it's 100% cotton. Um, this is 112 centimeters wide. So if you are making this for bedding, you know, there you go. It doesn't have a princess. You'd, that's, that's, that's what the daughter is. That's your princess. Yeah. Um, so there we go. That is your fantasy on white. Shall I show you the, yeah, on the dark? So then, now if you're quilting, as we learned the other day with the quilting, sometimes you need a light, a medium, and a dark. So this would work as your dark if you're buying this to quilt. It's got such a different feel, hasn't it, with that navy background? Look at that. So maybe you want to do a, a contrasting cushion or something, or maybe you're doing the bin out of this darker one. It's entirely up to you. But if you're looking at a darker tone, if you're patchworking with this, because that would be a bit special, then 5.95 for a half a meter of this, and it's gorgeous. You've still got that rainbow of color. And of course, because it's covered in rainbows, it's gonna go with whatever home colors you've got, which is even better. It just works in all those beautiful pastel colors. So there we go, that's that one. Now, a mid-tone is often um, what you're then after, apparently, for your, um, for your quilting. I've learned this, Angela Atwood was telling me all about this the other day. Uh, that's what your half meter will look like. So when you get a half meter, that's what it looks like. But this is it up as a meter. Now I made the bin out of this, but I had so much of this fabric left over. Um, if you want to make a bin, then you're going to need a meter because the depth of it is 85 centimeters. That's how much you'd need there. But there we go. That's, um, that is your hearts. Again, a great one to use because those hearts are non-directional. They're going all over the place. So it doesn't matter which way up you're using it. There are your hearts. 5.95 per half a meter. So there we go. So with your, with your meter, with your, with your waist bin, you're going to need a meter of fabric in there. Just to clarify, that graphic was slightly incorrect. Um, okay. Actually, do you know what, Producer Haley? You say that, you can get it, depend, because it's non-directional, because it's 112 centimeters long, you can fit that long edge. You can get it out of a half meter because if it depends on the direction of the fabric, okay, because you think when you're making the bin, you need 85 centimeters, which is gonna wrap around it. That's how much is gonna wrap around it. It's 40 centimeters deep. So your meters, you'll have a 10 centimeter strip left over. And then, and this fabric is 112 centimeters wide. So you're gonna have nearly 30 centimeters left at, at the edge. 
So actually you can do it out of half a metre of fabric, that is correct. Of course, I wasn't thinking, sorry, of course you can do it that way around. So yes, half a metre of fabric is all you're going to need if you want to make the bin. And then you'll have a strip left that maybe you can decorate for a little feature bit through a cushion or something after that. Um, so there we go, that is... And that applies to any of these fabrics on this show. You'd only need a half a metre for the bin, which suddenly, bargain. Um, with, yeah, yeah, fab. Do you know what, when you think about how much it costs to redecorate a room, this is actually making it super affordable. Now, we've shown you it on a grey background. Let's have a look at these lovely hearts on a white background. Light and cheery. So if you're after your lights for your quilting, then this is your light. There we go. Um, so this is 595, QEMY96. Super pretty. QEMY96, 595 for this. Really beautiful. Um, and of course, it just, Hearts don't go out of fashion, do they? That's it. Rainbows, they don't go out of fashion. That's why, you know, your Care Bears and things like that. They're, they're still a TV show. Producer Hayley, did you know that? Did you like Care Bears when you were little? Yeah. See, they're still, they're still on TV. And that's, you know, that's 30-odd years we're talking about. Oh, now, oh, the raindrops. Fantasy raindrops. This is like it's, um, do you remember those pear drops? Sweets. It's like it's, rain, it's like it's raining pear drop sweets, isn't it? It's fab. So R-I-M-Y 82 gets you your fantasy raindrops. I like to think of it more as uh, pear drops. But that's just me. I'm always thinking about food. 5.95 there. R-I-M-Y 82. Nice. Uh, ha -ha. Now, the last one out of the fabric. The Fabulous fantasy range is the stripes. I love this. Absolutely love this. Now, we are going to show you in the next show how to make storage for your kid's bedroom. And you are just going to love this for that. Well, in fact, any of these fabrics are going to be perfect for the next hour's project as well. Really, this hour and next should have been one whole show because it's kind of inspiration for, for, for kids' bedrooms, for tidying them up, for decorating them, uh, for personalising them. It's absolutely perfect. Um, so everything that you see this hour is equally transferable to the next hour and vice versa, okay? It's just we had to choose which fabrics to put on which hour. Uh, it's as simple as that. So this is just gorgeous. Now these are all 112 centimeters wide, but just think about little girls' dresses oh, in this. Wouldn't that be beautiful? In fact, any of these fabrics, the hearts, if you wanted to make a little dress out of the heart, it would just be gorgeous. You see, I would be tempted, if I was doing um, bedding or anything like that, this is what you'd need on the back of your cushions or um, your under pillow or something like that. Just a hint of gorgeousness. There they all are. Now, uh, let's have a look at the bunting book. And then we'll have a look at everything else. Don't these just work well together? Aren't they beautiful? Uh, so let's have a look at this. This is your sew bunting. This is by the very lovely Debbie Shaw. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Um, very, very clever. Kind of a family affair because husband does all the photography. And it is absolutely beautiful. Now, how many of you got our free fabric last week? then we've got some lovely, lovely things for you in here. So for under £10, you're going to get lots of different inspiration, lots of different ways of making lots of different bunting. Let's have a look through. So here we go. Um, whether you want bunting with pockets in, um, whether you want... We, now, we made... The, where is this? This was... Ah, here we go. I'll show you this bunting. We made this out of the fabric that you actually may well have received for free. Um, 
it shows you how to do your cutting. Here we go. So this was the bunting that we, we made on another show and you just add your buttons in. So you may have got this fabric. This may have just been arriving for you because this is the one that we had. Um, this was one of the freebies, wasn't it? So if you want to, this is what I mean by bunting. It can be so easy and straightforward like that one out of the panel, or you can make it as, uh, as complicated and complex as you wish. So as we start to go through the bunting, if you've just got some simple, pretty bunting and this, so if you're unsure in any way and you've got the panel bunting and you just want to do it like this, then this is how to do it. Um, so if you've got the panel bunting that we've got for you today, then you just cut it like this and this is going to show you, take you step by step. Now, if you want to applique on top of it, if you want to do your advent bunting, love that idea. Then you've got it. So you've got bunting for all through the year. This is your applique bunting. Wouldn't it be lovely if your little one is learning the alphabet to applique on letters? Did you get the applique bundle that we had on Thursday? In which case you could do the alphabet on all the bunting. Yes, that would be amazing. Um, oh, this is it. That stripe that we've got. Producer Haley, isn't that just perfect? Yes, yes and yes. Again, yes, that just works, doesn't it? Because that's the thing, isn't it? You know, you would, um, do you know how I would make that bunting? I would make that bunting with pockets so that I could put my sun cream in one, drink in another, snack somewhere else and string it around my seat so I don't have to move. That's it. Once I'm in that seat, a bit like that child, I am not coming out of it. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. That's your beach bunting. And we've got the perfect fabric for it too. Producer Hayley, can we pop the details of this one? down the bottom of the screen so that we've got that, so that if you need to make this beach bunting, because quite frankly, we all now need to make that beach bunting, then that's the perfect fabric, isn't it? It's almost like it was made for it. We'll get it for you in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And that's showing you how to do it. There we go. There you go, that's your striped fabric down the bottom, 5.95 there. Now, what about this? Um, this is your blackboard bunting. So if you've got any blackboard paint, and I would just say to you, if you do have blackboard paint, obviously make sure that you also have some white spirits because that's the only way it's gonna come out. I know, I know from uh, experience there. Um, then again, maybe you wanna draw onto it, but also maybe you wanna teach your kids how to write with this. You get your big chalks and then you can write the alphabet onto it. Again, these aren't even sewn on. It's just, uh, it's, just, um, it's just a ribbon and then it's safety pinned on so that you can take it off. So lots and lots of inspiration here. Now this was the bunting that we made. So this was the inspiration. This is your buttoned bunting. And if you managed to get the, uh, the freebie fabric that we had for you last week, then that's what we made it out of. Ever so pretty, isn't it? All you need to add is some of your wooden buttons. Yeah. There we go. Now, if you want, oh, this is your With Love ribbon. Oh, yeah. Handmade with love. There is nothing worse, is there, than doing such a cracking job on something that it looks store-bought and people just assuming that you just picked it up from some fabulous shop somewhere. I love this ribbon because you can pop a little swatch of this on everything that you make. If it's a cushion, then just pop it in the corner or whatever it is that you're making. But then when you give this bunting to someone, it's that reminder that actually this was made with love, that attention to detail. 3.95, ADGQ 93. And that's your handmade with love.
and you're getting four meters of that. Lovely. Um, so we just used that there to make our own bunting. And this was inspired out of the book. So whatever, whatever you fancy, we've got it covered for you today with our bunting book. If bunting's your thing, we've, we've got it for you. Uh, now, so that's how to make that. Now, maybe you've got some crazy strips. Then sew them all together and then cut it up. Really lovely ideas in here. I love this as well. Um, this is about making your bunting accessible, isn't it? Get your kids to make their own. Oh! Hey, you know earlier we had, um, we had the cushions with the, um, with the gingham. Look at this, you could then, you could use your leftover gingham to make a lampshade. Put bunting on the bottom of that. Yeah! Yes, brilliant. Um, if you've got felt, now when we sell you any of the toy kits that have felt, invariably you're gonna get 10 sheets of the felt because we just put the whole pack in for you, which means that you might have lots of felt, in which case you can use the felt for your base of your bunting or to applique with, nice. And of course, if you're using felt, then you don't have to put seams on it. They have here as a decorative stitch, but you don't have to because it doesn't fray. So that's easy. So whatever level you're at, job done. Now, whether you want to put your, your, your country bunting, it's a nice play on bumpkin, isn't it? <laughs> then you've got that. So whatever fabric you've got that you just need to see, love this. Hello, Halloween. Because Halloween's becoming a really big thing in this country as well, isn't it? We're copying America with this, We're going, yeah. Yeah, let's make Halloween a massive thing. Let's do that. Oh, but Christmas, look at this. This is just beautiful. So then it gives you uh, all your excuses to get your beads and things out and get sewing those on as well. Oh, your old jeans. I've just had a clear out. Use those pockets from your jeans and make pocket bunting and then organize your kid's bedroom or your sewing room. Put your scissors in one and pick her in another. And then if you love to make buttons and things like that, you can put different buttons on. This is fab, I love this book. Under a tenor and all this inspiration. Now this is your lavender bunting. Wouldn't that be lovely in a baby's bedroom? Maybe hung up over the baby change. You know what I'm saying. Um, lovely lavender then. Give that lovely waft, nice and calming, everything else, or round the cot. Very beautiful, obviously not like round the cot where they can grab it and hurt themselves with it. Just, you know, out of, out of hand's reach. Ah, your seaside bunting. This is your nautical bunting, but of course our stripes again are gonna work with that. So your stripey fabric there, 595. Again, perfect for this. Love this. So you've got squares and triangles. Oh, I love this. This is your oriental bunting. Ooh. Uh, we, hang, we've got tassel makers, haven't we, on the website? So if you wanna make your own tassels, grab one of those as well. Oh, these are pretty. You know when you just have one of those linings and you think that's too pretty to not be seen, then this is the perfect one. Or if you've just got some of your favorite buttons and you want to show those, it's called pelmet bunting, but I think it's good fun. I love this idea. Having little pockets, put little flowers in or just simple things. It's shabby chicing up your, your house, isn't it, with this? Ever so pretty. Bunting's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. We had to, we had, because um, my husband and I, we got married and we had, we had the reception at home. So we just, we just strung, decked out the garden in lights and bunting. It was really pretty, even if I do say so myself. But that bunting, uh, because we had so much of it, then um, in March, it was my granddad's 90th and village hall bunting everywhere. So it's one of those things, it just comes out every occasion bit of bunting. We had a guest on that said that every birthday, um, they, would, they had birthday bunting. So the child would come down or, or whoever's birthday it was would come down and, and there would be your bunting there. Um, now this, again, use your scraps. Hey, if you had the Tim, um, Tim Holtz fabric, wouldn't that look nice? Done like that. Mm. But that's just done with ribbons. That's just done with different ribbons. Beautiful. 
Um, and then you've got your Father Christmas, a bit early for that. But if you bought the mouse making kit, you've got 10 sheets of white felt. So you know what? Not so silly. Hey, look at these. So it's a nice little uh, scissor keeper, scissor tidy. Beautiful, beautiful. And again, you can use this in the fabrics that actually, maybe they're the ones that you've got sat in your room that you just can't bear to use because then you, you might not see them again. But actually, if you're then going to have the pleasure of seeing them every time you work, nice. Oh, producer Haley, the threads that we've got. You know that printable fabric? Hello. How amazing. When my, um, an 18th birthday, and then you could do photos of them throughout their life as a baby all the way through. That would be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If we've got that thread, have we, yeah, let's see if we've got any of that left. I'm not sure if that's sold out, but what a lovely idea. When, um, when my son was born, we decorated his bedroom in lots of um, big canvas photos of all the family so that, you know, he could get to know who everybody was, even relatives that he didn't necessarily see day in, day out. He had a photo of them up so that, he, you know, we could say in that such and such and all the animals, you know, so that his bedroom was just decorated with his family. And that would have been, the bunting would have been a much easier way of doing that. That's beautiful. I love that. There is some available. So if you're after the threads, which is your print onable fabric, then that would be perfect. Should we, can we show you that, the details for that? Yeah, they're going to get it for you. The magic of production upstairs. They can just bring it. Now, we had two different types of threads. This one is the twill. So that's the heavier type fabric there. $21.95 for that. But it literally, if you've just got an inkjet printer, that would just print onto there. Perfect. Amazing. Go to the website. It's all on there. You can watch that show again. Well, we did a few shows with it. I did a Saturday with Tilly Rose where we showed how to use that. John did one during the week with Angela Atwood where they showed how to use it. Really simple, stunning results. Uh, but that's a great one to have. Um, and then your sewing root and bunting. You know, we often do the notions fat quarters. You could use that, couldn't you, to do your sewing room bunting? Uh, they're here. A bit of steampunk. Yeah. You see, bunting doesn't have to be pretty, pretty. You can steampunk up your life as well. Look at that. So steampunk, massively popular at the moment. It's kind of that industrial feel, isn't it? And, and a bit quirky. What's that, um, what's that film that Will Smith did? Was it The Wild Wild West? That's very steampunky, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so there we go. Lots of ways um, to do your bunting. Lot, there are more. There are still more ideas, whether you're putting it on a bag, bunting bag, whether you're doing your Valentine bunting, a wedding bunting. We've got bunting, quite frankly, for all occasions, and it's under £10. Beautiful book. QWSP80. Gorgeous. Now... Um, other ways in which you can use our gorgeous fantasy prints. We had this on one of the shows. Now this one is your hearts. This is your hearts on white. And then we just put a polka dot with it. Easy. But of course that could have been your stripes. Half a meter of that QEMY96. So even if you just wanted to make a couple of cushions, then grab a half metre, it's going to make you at least two cushions there for five ninety five for your fronts. Now, um, lots of you going, lots of you going for the bunting. Now, this comes as a panel. So as we've seen in the Debbie Shaw book, loads of ways that you can make bunting. You can make it um, as exquisite and as decorative and as detailed as you like. Or if you are brand new to bunting, it doesn't matter. You can just cut this out. If you can sew in a straight line, just cut it out and sew a piece of fabric along the top. You've got 18 pieces here. Now, of course, it's entirely up to you. When you cut these, I know we've had guests. Uh, some say then you put edge to edge. But then there are others that say that you leave a width of bunting in between. 
So it's, it's entirely up to you. What I would say is measure, just get a tape, you know, get one of the really long tape measures and loop it along the area that you want bunted and then just pop it in in the distance that you need to cover that. So this is your bunting and this is what it turns into. Now that has actually been done, um, what I would say sort of properly, if you will. Can I just show, let me just show this. So on here, you'll see, I hear these, look, it's lined. So all we've used is one of our spectrum solids that we've got on the website, just a solid colored fabric. When you cut out your triangles, cut your triangle out, cut your backing out the same size, right sides together, sew down each size, turn them inside out, and that's how that's been done. And then that is made out of the same color there, and that's just made out using a bias binder maker with a fabric strip. So that's how we've done that. So let's just go through everything that you would need to do that. So this is your, and that just makes it like super durable. Okay, that's just making it properly professionally, if you will. Um, but this is your fantasy bunting shapes on fabric panel, six ninety five for that. I A M Y thirty. So popular today. So many of you, well done getting this because I just think it's beautiful. So if you want to decorate your kid's room with that, it's a really inexpensive way of doing so. Um, now, if you want to use any of these fabrics to do your bias binder or maybe you want to just get a hot pink or something off the website, then do. But then, under here somewhere, we've got some options for you. Can I just show you very quickly before we do the bias binder maker? Um, We've got these as well. Now, we mentioned this earlier. If you just want to use your trim, so if we're making it super easy, just cut out, cut out your, uh, cut out your piece of bunting and then just sew it onto your trim. That's about as basic as it's gonna get for bunting, okay? Cut and sew, that's it, bunting done. Um, and we've got this trim for you, 20 meters of this. And that's coming in at 8.95. Uh, that is, that's a, that trim is fully edged, so it, you don't have any raw edges on that. That's absolutely fine, you can just do that. That is about as, as easy as your bunting is possibly gonna get ever. That's your quick, easy way to do your bunting. Um, now, if you want to make your own bias binding so that you can then have it and fold it over and make it all gorgeous, somewhere under all of here, it's definitely, here it is. Well, I'm having such a, I'm just throwing fabric everywhere. Um, your bias binder maker. Now, this one here is your 25 mil. So 25 mil, what that means is that you would cut double that width. So 50 mil, that's, what's that, two inches. So a two inch strip of fabric that goes in the top there. And then as it comes out, you just iron it. You've seen this on the, on the shows before. Um, what you then have is 25 mils that you then fold over and stitch um, and that will give you a finished width of half that so of a half a half inch so so many designers have used these because then you've got so you could use the leftover fabric from your panel or then you could use your bias binder maker to then use that strip so you would cut that to two inches wide, feed that through your bias binder maker and you've got that as your binding. How pretty is that? So it's just, it's adding in, then the colors are absolutely perfect, gorgeous. Now, if you want um, a, a, a thinner one, oh gosh, this is super thin. This is often used um, for your dressmaking for just a delicate, there you go, that you see, so you always know, you're not gonna have to keep the packaging, you're always gonna know that's, 12 mil. So this is back in stock. This has been sold out for ages. So if you've been waiting for this, it's back in stock. 
£10.95, GPGQ98 there, but that's going to do, that's going to do a, like a very fine binding round, um, if you're using finer fabrics, dressmaking, things like that, that's a great one to have for there, but it is back in stock, that's the reason that I show you that. Um, now, maybe you want to do, oh, here we go, we've got the pom-poms. Uh, now these are absolutely fab because of course you can use this on your bunting. You can use this on your lampshades, can't you? Let's show you the red. Can I, um, can I open any of these or not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So you can actually sew that on if you want to use that along the top and have that for your bunting then it's just an extra bit of fun isn't it but you would just sew along that bit there isn't that great isn't that fun yeah do you know what producer Hayley says she keeps seeing these in the shops now yeah you can you can edge your um okay so if you were if you were making one of the cushions you could you could edge it obviously possibly not the pink's going to clash horribly there, but you could, um, there you go. You could edge your cushion in it. Just fun, isn't it? Just really fun. So however you, you want to use it, it's all done for you. I love the fact that that is done for you. Why pop that back in the pack? Give that to Amy to do. Uh, now that is 2.95 for two meters of that. I've got the white and I've got the green. Let's give you the white details. It's more kind of creamy, isn't it? I think we've got more colors on the website as well. Is there a gray on there? Oh, that would look nice with the fantasy as well, wouldn't it? Cream pom-pom there, 2.95 for half a meter. TXGQ34, and then your green as well. I love that green, lovely and fresh. Hey, have you seen, you might recognize this green where we've used it before on a cushion. Look at that, isn't that fun? So this is what it looks like unraveled. There you go. 295, just a lovely different thing. Oh, now, um, we laughed here at the sewing quarter, the very first time um, that we brought Rick Rack on um, because we went, when on earth are you ever going to need 25 meters of Rick Rack? The time that you need 25 meters of Rick Rack is when you are doing meters and meters and meters of bunting. That is when you need 25 meters of rickrack and it's just 12.95 for 25 meters that is what around 50 pence per half meter that's great value for money fhgq86 that's for your pink we've got it in white and blue as well let me give you the details for that here it is in white 25 meters again 12.95 don't forget one PMP per day, so it doesn't matter how many times you shop in with us, check out your baskets throughout the day, you will only pay one lot of PMP of 295, cracking value for money. So that's your white rickrack, and then this blue. Actually, this blue is really nice with the gray in there. Doesn't that look pretty together? And then if you want to use it with your stripes as well, gorgeous. So 12.95 for your blue IBGQ25. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, producer Amy, throw that in to me. Come, uh, floor manager, throw it in, there we go. Uh, this is what the rickrack looks like. This is a very wide rickrack so that you can use it um, for the likes of your bunting. Look how wide that is. So again, we're talking easy bunting. Then, uh, hang on, where's the, where's the one I started to cut? If you've got, no, you don't have to sew it all the way around the triangle, produce Haley. you can just sew it 
let me just get that along the top of your bunting and you can have that as what how you do your bunting like that and so again that's just a super easy way if you don't want to do binding bias binding or anything like that but you want something a little bit different then I would bias bind it up I would uh, rick rack it up and that actually that works really prettily doesn't it oh I like that that's really pretty yeah lots of you going for it yeah well done thanks for your messages oh who's asked about the circle cutter Catherine and Louise have asked about the circle cutter. Well, I shall show them about the circle cutter then. Which fabric shall I circularly cut? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if I've got any here. Can I go with, shall I, shall I do the, this one? Oh, let's, uh, <laughs> here we go. Now, whatever fabric you've got. Now, remember, if, here we go. Now let me let me just do this. So fold your fabric. Oh, <gasps> you know what I've just thought. You could do the most bizarre, bizarre sort of rainbow in a semicircle, couldn't you, out of this fabric? That would be amazing. Anyway, um, here we go. So you've got your circle cutter. You fold your fabric and you decide how big you want to make your circle. You've got on here various different lines. So this cross hatch here, this is showing you the very central point. And you'll see that if we do to here, this black line shows you the fabric fold line. And then if you follow that dotted line there, you would line the base of your fabric up if you want that to be your half circle with a seam allowance. We're gonna go and just pop that so that that is level there, level there, level there. I've got that all lined up straight on my fabric. Now I can cut anywhere from two inches up to 12 inches, but when it's cut, it's not a 12, that's five centimeters up to 30 centimeters. That's not a 12 inch. That's actually a 12 and a half inch circle because it's also incorporated a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Genius, okay? So just know that that is a two inch finished circle and a 12 inch finished circle. That's actually a 12 and a half inch, okay? Now this is what this is all about. Um, and this is the actual blade. So it's got a little cap on to keep it safe. But if I just do it like that, the blade is safe. That blade is not exposed until you press down and that engages the blade. These two prongs here, those slip into the groove and that's how you're gonna get that perfect semicircle. Um, those have corresponding marks on the top side so that you know where you're sitting. Those, I don't know if you can see. There, can you just see there? That's in line, oh, there you go. You can see that that is in line with that. So I know where I'm putting that into the groove. So with that in mind, oh, let me also show you, sorry, before I move on, this swivels. So you don't have to do that awkward wrist thing with your hand to try and get around the circle. So I'm gonna go there, that's sitting into my eight inch circle. That's gonna give me an eight and a half inch circle, eight inch finish. I press down, that, engage, that engages that blade. I then start to cut. Now you'll notice my hand is not facing any other direction because that has swiveled. And then, done. That is it, that is your perfect circle. So maybe you want to do your own version of the circle cushion that we did in the first hour and you want to do it with those, wouldn't that be fun? 
Isn't that brilliant? Now, the other thing, because I know that a lot of you, yes, you are, um, you are fabric crafters, but also some of you might do things with paper as well and be, actually, can I, can I use this on paper? Get a separate blade and we've got the blades and the replacement blades. So even if you want to keep a spare for when you've dulled it from cutting so many circles, we've got a replacement blade. There's nothing worse than buying something like this and then never being able to get the replacement blade and it just being put to one side. Get your replacement blade as you buy it and then you've got it, 5.95 for your replacement blade. Do you wanna see a tiddly tiny one? Yay, I hear you say. Here we go, now. So if you wanted to do the circular cushion from the first hour, perfect. Now, I slot that into the groove of my two inch. If you are in any way worried, then just practice on some scrap fabric first. Now what I should do is do it in one continuous in one continuous cut, that's what you should do. So all the way around there. Now, if I wanna do that, and maybe I want to do a little rainbow, then I can do that, but you just press down. I could do this in all different sizes. Maybe you're doing something with planets, then you could do those, was it the rings of Saturn? So look, here we go. Here we are. That's that cut. How about that? Now, all I would say to you is, did you see the first time around, I sort of released the blade and then sort of put it back again. Do it in one continuous cut, because otherwise, you know, you get that. So that's, that's just to show you as a warning. But still, it is fab. So, you know, it's as much to tell you how to as to how to not do it. But look at that. That's gorgeous. It's just brilliant. I love it. I love this circle cutter so much. Um, if you're making your flowers or anything like that, um, then it's perfect for all of those. So your circle cutter, 31.95, SYGQ96. And if you want the replacement blade, it's just 5.95, uh, TMGQ73. Now, what else to show you? Oh, the handmade with love ribbon. There it is selling very, very well. This is the thing, there is nothing more infuriating than spending hours and hours and hours making something utterly gorgeous and then people think that it's shop bought because you've done such a good job on it. Nothing worse. Now they're always gonna know that it was handmade by you. 3.95 ADGQ 93. Now, the stripes and the bunting panel, so popular this hour. Yeah, you'll get one without so. <laughs> uh, right, half, oh, there you go. It's, you get a half a meter. Let me fold that in half. Let me show you more likely how much you get. That's your half a meter amount without circles cut out of it. Couldn't resist, sorry, love this. Uh, isn't that beautiful? It is so vibrant. I'm not sure that your screens will be doing the vibrancy of this fabric uh, justice. But if you've got the bunting book as well, then we had lots of different striped ideas in there. It's just a fun, gorgeous fabric to have. Um, and maybe you want to use it and have it with, oh, see, it just works so well. Look at the dark fantasy scenic as well. Look at that with the stripes. Yeah, look at that. So maybe that's the backing of your cushions and that's the front. Maybe that's your waste paper bin and that's your light shade. I don't know, it's entirely up to you. Or maybe you're getting this and you're gonna do your, um, the back of your bunting in that. Ooh, wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah, 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 here we go. So this is, maybe you're doing a bunting panel. Maybe you're making this bunting uh, for your little one or your grandchild's birthday. And then that's something that they can take home. So they have a birthday party. There's lots of beautiful bunting. 
and then they get to take it home and put it around their bedroom. What could be more special than that? IANY30, just $6.95 to get that personalized bit of fun. Look, there's a unicorn. I mean, look, he's just gorgeous. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, of course, everything that we've shown you this hour also applies to the next hour that we've got coming up. So stay with us because we're now gonna look at storage and you're gonna love what we're gonna make next. Um, Jess is back, see you in just a minute. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on Tuesday the 16th of May when, back by popular demand, Joe Carter's Bear in a Bag returns to our screens. With brand new fabric options, we bring you Fantasy Bear, Space Bear, Seaside Bear and Meadow Bear. The kit includes everything you need to make your adorable bear complete with its matching bag. This makes the perfect gift. So join Joe and Bear in a Bag on Tuesday the 16th of May at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple program guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Welcome back to the show. Now this hour, it's all about your storage. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? We're gonna be making this for you this hour. 
And look, there's little penguins in there. If you need to tidy up anywhere, now maybe you're putting your yarns or something in there. Maybe you're a, um, a, you know, an, an avid knitter and that's what's going in here. But if you do have kids and you need to tidy up, um, then this is perfect. If you have those bookshelves, you know, with the squares that come from a certain yellow and blue Swedish type shop, these fit perfectly in there. And yeah, cameraman Mike's going, yeah. You've got two kids and one on the way. I'm sure that you need a bit of storage. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So this is a great way to tide you away, but also to be able to see what's in there as well. So the way that these work in that particular you know, square storage type thing, um, is that actually, yes, it fits in a treat, but you can still see what's in there. Um, so you don't have to keep, like I have to, keep pulling out the boxes to see what's in. Absolutely perfect, we absolutely love it. Whether you're using this for your fabric scraps or whatever, um, we've got the book where the idea comes from, um, and we've done this for kids storage. So all of those beautiful fabrics that you saw last hour, you can buy them by the half meter, and of course you can be making these for girls' rooms, Boys rooms it's entirely up to you now we've got the galaxy fabric for you today let me show you all of those I'm going to move that out of the way for now I'll come back to that fabric in a minute um, but here it is now let's have a look because this the real star here for me no pun intended is this look at that so oh you've got do you, have you got the other graphics in? Do you want me to show the other one? Oh, the planets. Let me show you the planets. Here we go, because that's what this one is made out of. But actually, either one is fab. Maybe you'd want to make one out of one, one out of the other. This is your planets. It's big, it's bright, it's bold. It's just so much fun. Already director Tim wants to get the circle cutter out and start making planets out of planets. $5.95 per half a metre. We'll just let that idea sink in. Yes. It's 112 centimetres wide. This is fab. This is the fabric that we had that lovely galaxy quilt out of. Um, there it is, looking good. It's just brilliant. Now, the quality, gorgeous. It is, of course, 100% cotton. It's from Macawa. So let me show you that one there so that that can... Actually, there you go. can sit there. Now... If you love your spaceships or you have someone in your family that loves a spaceship, then here they are. And this is what Macau have managed to do with this fabric, which is just amazing, is look how sparkly those stars are. That's what really, really drew us to this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now we're doing storage for this, but there's no reason why you couldn't do your kids' curtains out of this. All sorts. Absolutely gorgeous. Maybe if you're making multiple boxes of storage, you'd make one out of that and then have spaceships on the next so that they look like they're zooming into the planets. It's entirely up to you. Now, if you want to um, do a lining for these, let me show you the brilliant fabrics that we've got for lining. Now, the lining that we've used has been sort of the countdown fabric. It's called numbers, but I like to call it countdown. And uh, I think they, they missed a trick in naming that. But this is your numbers so that you can do your countdown. I'm pretty sure we play rockets at home an awful lot with my son. And I'm pretty sure that, well, firstly, he learned his numbers backwards, uh, which was a problem. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that he does think that blast off is actually a number. So never mind. Uh, 5.95. At some point, he'll realize. And my, how we'll laugh uh, about that one at some point, I'm sure. Uh, so that's perfect for your lining, or maybe, I, I don't know, look, do you know what, you're the ones designing your bedrooms, or your kids' bedrooms. If you want to have it in the darker fabric, then we've got numbers in navy as well. There you go. So of course this navy links in with the navy of the skies, of the planets, and of the, um, and of the, the spaceships as well. So that one, if you want to line it in that, Absolutely great. Again, it's entirely up to you. 5.95, CPMY04, but they're your numbers. That's your countdown again. Now, maybe your little ones uh, like to uh, work out the engines and how things work. Mm. 
then in which case we've got the perfect one. This is your circuit board fabric. And again, you'll see this sort of minty color. Um, I'm already looking at the spaceships. The wings of the spaceships are on there as well. So the colors are coming all the way through. The uh, picture on the website is wrong. Please excuse us. We will get that sorted. But you see, look, you can see if I pick up the, the um, if I pick up the spaceships with it, then you can start to see uh, that on the planet, so like this spaceship there, that's the same color, so they coordinate. So you've got the same tones coming through, and that's your circuit. That's gonna make a lovely lining in there, or maybe you wanna make a box out of each and have them all displayed. Gonna be fab. So 595 TVMY01. Yes. Oh, I do like these. Yay! Love them. So there they are. You can mix and match them as you see fit. And I think that's a great place to start. Now, if you want planes, let me just show the planes that we've got. Maybe you want to just put a plain color, then we've got planes for you as well. So if you want to line it in the plane, and this again is your Macau fabric, this is your bright yellow. And again, per half a meter, so that's what you'll get. All of the solids sell so well. This is your half a meter. That's what that's looking like. And you can just see the quality there. They just sell 325 per half a meter. Maybe that's gonna be the lining of your box. Who knows? Um, if you want the navy, if you just wanted to play navy to line in, Got to give you all these options. And then we're going to go and meet Jess again in just a second. Sorry, Jess, keeping you standing there. Um, and then this one here is your navy. What would you do, Producer Haley? She said, can I give you my option? Oh. So Producer Haley would make curtains for her little one. It's Joseph, isn't it? Uh, would make curtains out of navy. And then she'd do a panel across the top of your spaceships or the bottom and work it that way. That would bring the cost down actually, wouldn't it? If you just did a panel, that would be lovely. They'd be super special. And of course you can see that navy just works perfectly with it. So that's your, your solid navy 325. Ah, oh, look at this. Now, if you want to pick up the orange of the planets, then here it is. This is your orange solid. And you can see, if I put the, the box that we've made here, then you can see how that picks up the orange of the planets, all of these planes. This is why we've chosen these planes for you today, so that you can mix and match the colors, just work a treat. You can see them being picked up in the planets. If I turn the numbers there, you can see that all coming through an absolute treat. So that's why we've chosen that. And that's bright orange. Gosh, isn't it? All of our fabrics here, 112 centimeters wide and all sold by the half meter. If you want a meter, you put two in the quantity box and off you go. So these are the fabrics. Of course, they're gonna work perfectly with everything that you saw in the last hour. So if you wanna make your bins and your lampshades out of these, of course, grab those off the last hour. They will now be on the website. So if you go to the website and you click on where we're viewing live, and then you can always message us in. And then underneath that, um, underneath that will be the full shopping list of everything that we've had on today. So if you love these fabrics and you want to make this out of the fantasy unicorn that we've just had, or if you love these and you want to make your bins and your lampshades, then that's absolutely fine as well. Or clock out the planets, then it's all on the website. Let me show you where. So go to the website. There we are live. And then you go message the studio, you can message us. We would love to hear from you this hour. What are you gonna make with them? What have you been inspired to make? And then underneath that, these are the products from the shows this morning, which show you everything. There's all your rickrack and all your fantasy stuff that we had last hour, and your lampshades and your bins and your clocks and your binder, bias binder maker. And then these are all the fabrics from this hour. So that I said this should really have been like a two hour show. Mm. Hello, Jess. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, this 
I you love made. This. I love this. This is probably one of the favourite things I've made um, recently, and I've been making a lot. Um, I just love this print. I have two Gorgeous. boys. How old are your boys? Uh, they are 10 and 7 and watching now. Hi, guys. And they still, at that age, 10 yeah, and 7, love still, this. They still love things like this. I mean, this is just, I just I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. When you're tired and you're, and you're sewing with fabric that you really love, you just, oh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And it's just it's just really, really nice quality to sew, to be honest. It's let's, really let's lovely I mean, We stuffed it with a few toys. Oh, we yeah. could have crammed a few more in. This is perfect for Lego. We, ha we are a Lego household. Hold. Uh, yes. And this is just a great way of just chucking it all in there and just putting it to one side. It's really the way forward, yeah. isn't it? Because then um, chucking is the tidying up. Yeah, of, exactly. Of and it also makes it, it fun for them. Also, you could personalise it if you wanted them. You could yes. put little, you know, you've got tape, you put names on, <gasps> whatever you want. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Maybe you get one of the solids yeah. and you bond a web and you applique. Absolutely. I don't know. Lego or toys oh, that'd be or lovely. the name of your child on yeah. there. Yeah, that'd Especially be... if you've got kids that share a bedroom. Yes, well, they could have, you know, they could have a bag each. Absolutely. Now I just think it's gorgeous. It's one of my, my favourite ones I've done recently. We are really, really thrilled. Now this came out of the Debbie Shaw So Useful book. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it's featured on the back of the book. So if I show you it there, and that's it in a really, really pretty feminine print. Yeah. Really gorgeous. So it just goes to show that actually you can tidy up your sewing room with these. Yes, exactly. You can make them different sizes, whatever Absolutely. you actually want. And of course, your lovely unicorn fabric, which I've also got my own right now. I'm staring at it. It would be lovely for girls as well who are really into unicorns and pretty yes. pretty. Perfect. Depends on what you want, really. Of course it does. Um, so let me have a little look through the book. Again, under £10 mm. for all of the inspiration in here. You see, look, again, there's that bag again. And look, sewing room. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, maybe you're a knitter. Maybe that's yarns that you're putting in there. Good point. What, whatever it is. I love this as well. Yeah. Oh, that's a cheeky yeah, bit like, of cafe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I love that cafe. Uh, now, whether you are doing your bags so that you your shoe bags. I love the shoe bags with the pliqued shoes on. And again, you know, Debbie knows her stuff. She's been mm. doing this for years. Um, she's incredibly talented. She's a, one of those women that just does not stop. She's always on the go. She's always got projects. She's writing for magazines. She's writing books. She's got so many books to her name. She really does know her stuff. I love this. This, this chair back caddy, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this out of the planet. Nice. And I'm going to have that um, on the back of the passenger seat of the oh, car. Oh, for all their stuff. Yes. Oh, for like magazines yes. or books or little yes. crayons or something. So that because away. I drive up and down to Cornwall and Sussex ah. to friends and relatives and this, that and the other, it's a long car journey. Oh, that's brilliant. Freddie Bear needs something to keep him occupied. Pop it all in there, whether it's a drink or a snack or whatever. No, that's, that's a really good idea. Well, they just, I and, that. and that's all you need to do is just pop that over the back. So lots of ideas. Here are the bags that we're making today. They're all in one really useful. Now, this is your toy bag. This opens mm. up so you end up having a toy mat. Yeah, and then I like you just that. string them, pull them all together again. And then that's it. Easy tidying. You heated your I yeah, know, I looked at that and I thought, yeah, as opposed to just chucking them in a cupboard, that's a brilliant idea. If actually, if you manage to get the insole bright that we had on, you oh, could put the insole yeah. bright in there. And then and then it's really safe. So lots of ideas. You've got your crafty caddy in there. It's all about tidying up. It's all about making sure that everything is as it should be. And there we go. I'll show you that there. Whether or not you're making, you know, a cover for your clothes, where an iron, that's an iron holder. You could be iron holder. I thought that was really, that looks fascinating. Oh, that's a jewel pouch. Let me show we've, I think we've done the iron holder on one of the shows. Lovely and mathematical. I love it. Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a pyramid. There we go. So lots of different ideas. We need to be making this though. We so do. 9 95 you can grab the book and you can get making too. ALSP89. What I love about that book is that, yes, it's all very pretty, the fabric's in mm. there, but you change the fabric, you change yeah. the feel, and suddenly it's got a, a different use. It's going Absolutely. in a different room in the house. Yeah. How do we start? Well, we, st we start with, um, put that to one side. So for... This one, um, we did the galaxy. Yes. And for this, for the print, that print rather, the other one, we have chosen two of the other print, prints. The, what I call motherboard. 
Circuit board. Circuit board. I love that you say motherboard because oh, I did that for several shows as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, and I, I just love it. But it's just, it's just gorgeous. My boys were all over this. Um, so you actually cut out because this is actually a nine-inch cube, and you right. cut ten. Okay. So you cut five because all four sides and one mm -hmm. bottom. Five ten-inch squares of fabric, and um, five nine-inch squares of iron-on interfacing and this is right. medium weight now we talked about things in the other show no so yeah I've now this some. is why uh was it kath from the eight o'clock show yeah she said what was the difference between your iron on interfacing yeah. your iron on wadding your wadding and, and your bonder web so obviously bonder web you'd use for your applique yeah so if you were uh i don't know using one of the solid colors mm. and and uh, bonder webbing in applique on a name or alphabet or something then use that um if you want to use this iron-on interfacing. And we've got a medium weight for you. That's what this is. We use medium weight. Uh, no, hang on. We'll get rid of that one because that's the sew-in. Have we got the other one? We'll grab, we'll, we'll grab the other one. Yeah. Details are on the website. But this just means that you iron on and we'll yes, get you iron on and Because it makes it nice and stiff. You can use um, sew-in, but it's a bit, you know, it, it's not as solid because yeah. this makes it a stiff thing. So I just wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see, because this is shiny on the reverse, which is the glue, and Let's then matte just, on the other side. So can you see shiny, 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 shiny? Oh, there you go. That's your shiny. That's the gluey side. Yes. So put that face down onto your fabric. Yes, face down onto the reverse of yes. your fabric. You can see here it is. There, there you are. And then you iron that on nice and You can either do it by eye, half an inch, half an inch in. Or you can measure it exactly with your little marker pen yeah. to make it exact. But that gives you your seam yeah. allowance, doesn't it? That actually gives you a nice guide to Absolutely. sew along. Exactly, because you've already got it there, so you don't need to worry about whether you're actually, you know, going, because you're actually going to sew along that line. And do you do that for all five all of five. the squares? Yes, all five for the squares. So actually, you could adjust this for whatever size yeah. you want it. So that one's a nine inch, and this, because this is actually cut to nine inches, will be an eight inch cube, so they're stackable. Well, this is what we said, wasn't yeah. it? That you could then, if, especially if you're gifting, you could do like Gift a basket. Russian Russian doll of baskets. That's a lovely idea, especially if you're using lots of different fabrics as well. Yeah. You know what sort of colours they're going for, or you've yes. already got the room. Because, that, you know, then it would go. So you'd yeah. have that in there, and you've already got those colours that it... See, it works, it really works. I love it. I don't think any parent is ever going to turn down storage. No. If you <laughs> gift storage that kids actually love... Especially if it's personalised. I love that. It's a really nice idea. And it also makes tidying up fun, in theory. Anyway, so that's that one. Yes. So you iron them on to all five. Right. Oh, there should be five. Now yeah. our interfacing is now on the screen for you. This is the correct one. Uh, this is 295. This is your oh, iron on interfacing. Yeah, this fine. is medium weight. Oh, that's because I've got your fifth. Yeah, of course you have, yeah. <laughs> you did say it's earlier thinner. as well, if you wanted to make it stiffer, you use a thicker weight. Yes. Oh, yeah. So you can get different weights of um, interfacing. So this is the medium one. Anyway, so that's all five. I quite like the fact that the medium still has, gives you a little bit of give. It's yeah, not, you can it's not it out. so yeah. rigid. You can, I, I'm an overfiller. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, which means that I can overfill that. And um, producer Haley, it would be fair to say that before the show, I did cram like most of the toys that we've ever made on any of the shows into <laughs> there. And then I stuffed it into our Swedish boxed furniture shelves in the colors that we are uh, and it blue and uh, yellow i put in far more than that they took them all out it does look lovely as well it, it really really does because then you can you can personalize it oh look there they are yeah but they they took out half the ones that i crammed Aww. in they're like no less is more <laughs> natasha never <laughs> as i was cramming in a few more um, it's but, realistic well no i wanted to give it a proper trial yeah. and then that still fit into the exactly. shelving and then i could see what was in there job done and if you've got a different size shelving you just measure the size of the hole and then you cut your fabric accordingly perfect scale it up or down perfect um so you do those and then it tells you to make your handles which are these ones here which is it says um earlier on in the book on page 10 tells you how to make handles in one of the handy tips there's actually there's a small error isn't there there is there is a small error it asks you to cut four um bits of fabric to make handles you only need two Unless you want to put Unless handles you want to have loads of handles everywhere. What, maybe you want to have handles down there as well. Absolutely. Um, Many a handle bag. To. So two. Make two. two. So it. you would cut, to make your handles, you would cut two 
can't really see on this one over there, eight by four. Right. Bits of fabric on this beautiful fabric. You would then fold it in half yes. and press. Yes. And you've got your nice line there when you press. Fold it in like that. Do you have to interface this or no, not? No, not at all. I mean, you can feel it. You don't need to because it's got, it's got four layers of fabric. Okay. So you go like that again and press, and then you fold it in again and press all about ah. the ironing. So this is binding. This is it's basically binding. binding. It's That's making binding. what we're doing. And then you top stitch there. I don't know if you can see along there. And then just on the other side as well, so it looks the same. And that's do you want to show? Can we just show very quickly how to yeah, do sure. that? Let's let's do that because do that would be something on. that might be. The iron is on. Fabulous. Let me whop out a quick. I love board. this ironing mat. Now, I'm just going to move that mat because we mustn't cool. iron onto this. Never iron onto these boards ever, ever, ever. Yeah, because uh, because it warps them. Don't. Yeah, I've learnt that. Um, and we get told off. There we go. So, and make it smooth again. If I do it here, yep. then it's not. So, fold in half. Fold in half. Iron. Iron. There we go. And then. Now, whilst we do this, um, Julia, Michael, Beverly, um, Ziskia, you've all bought the book. Well done. Can we get in that storage? Under £10 for it's, all of it's these different It's a really ideas. nice book of loads of little storage ideas. Well, I'm just pressing that there. Normally I do want to sign, but I'm just going to hold it there. Thank you. I just need to hold it off. Okay. Mark. And loving that galaxy fabric this hour. And of course, you know, last hour, mm. we had all the beautiful fantasy fabric. Just so if you're making fabric. for a girl's bedroom. Or for yourself. Or for yourself. Because everything in your house is boy, boy, boy. Yes, of course. Everyone needs storage. Of course they do. So that, and of course, this is because this is four inches wide. It makes a one inch wide. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. But if you want to make it wider, smaller, cut accordingly. It's up to so you, whatever width it? you want, times by four. I think for me, um, and I don't know what you at home are like, but for me, first time round, mm. I make it exactly as per the book. Absolutely. And then. And then you change it. I go. Oh, well, I made that now. I can now do a this and a that and a yeah. this and a that to match. Absolutely. Job done. So, so we've we've folded it, we've ironed it, and then how we, we just top stitch down both sides. Top stitch down both sides, and that's your handles ready. Woohoo! So you put this to one side. Yes. And then yes. you've got to make a cube. So the first Ooh. bit is, and you first thing you make it, you think, ah, but no, it's fine because you've already got. You know that these are exactly nine inches because you've cut them yes. perfectly because you are amazing yes. with scissors and everything. Amazing, or, amazing. Or a, um, rotary, rotary cutter, cutter. obviously. Yes. Remember. You then pin. Your pins, your lovely, beautiful pincushion, which I love that pincushion, it's so pretty. So you put the point, right there, where the corner point is, pin, push through to the other side, and push your pin through, so you know it lines up. So point to point. Point to point, just to make sure, because then you, even if you haven't ironed it exactly, you know, that, so that you can see there's a bit of overlap there, because that's slightly in versus that, you know that your actual interfacing all line up and then just make sure it goes through so it is exact and then just make sure you go along here so this is being and this is where this is the stuff that takes the time actually yeah, isn't it cutting out and doing things like this take for the actual sewing the actual fun bit yeah the actual fun bit the actual stitching it together it takes no time at all but the um, what we call sewing faff there we go. Oh, let's call it now. try and proper preparation. Yes. Yes. I word. like that. Yes. Um, right. Whilst we pin this, let me give you the details of the fabric because you are loving it. It's all about the fabric here today on the sewing quarter very much. Let me show you the galaxy fabric. Oh, this is your planet one. Love the planet. And of course, you've got those twinkly stars in there. Five ninety five per half a meter. If we want to make these as per the book, how much fabric do you need? OK, so, well, half a meter will get quite a lot, actually, because it's ten. Half a meter is, what's that in inches? How many inches? Uh, it's 19 inches, just over 19 inches. Well, you could, if you want to make them slightly smaller, you could actually make them cut them to nine, because so this is that, actually cut yeah, to so nine. It's 19, so you could 20 get two. inches, 19 yeah, or there. 20 inches. So that is half, that's half a meter there. So depending on how the length is, 120, did you say? Yeah, uh, 112. 112. I don't know what that is in real money, i.e. inches. In, but you've got more than enough. You could probably make two. 45 inches, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. 45. Well, you could make them slightly smaller, then you can get 
you could get two slightly smaller or you could get um, one definite with loads of little extra bits for, nice. as you say, curtain tops or bits whatever. Of this, bits of that. Yeah, absolutely. So then you'd have the inner. Now, um, what this very much reminds me of, mm. um, there are two places that I go for storage. Nice. Um, one place is obviously the Swedish place. And then the other is the, is it, um, the some sort of big little trading Oh, you know the one I mean. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Really, the really nice posh one. Yeah. Which yeah, you look yeah. at, get a catalogue through the door and you think, I love that. Love it. And then you see the prices. And then you go, OK, let's go to the other shop with the yeah. um, and get our meatballs. Yeah, with, with, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, that's what happens. That's how the thinking process goes. But they've, um, they have very similar styles they to do. these. Very similar. And oh my goodness, very expensive. Oh, get silly. So you can get that style at a fraction of the cost, and then you can deck, you can match it. You can now, of course, also do your curtains. You can do your cushions. You can do your waste paper bins. You can do your lampshades, your overhead lights. You can do all of those in these different fabrics. And because it's coming from the same range, the colours go, it's all working. You can even do your little one's pyjamas in it. I know, it's just good. Uh, just, sorry, I just, I really, really am quite keen on maybe acquiring that myself. It's wrong, isn't it? We're building a stash, but this is just, and it's, it's so- It's gorgeous. So it's like butter. I don't know if that's correct, but it just feels really nice. It's got a really nice weight to it. That's what we want to know though, isn't so, it? That's exactly it. So 5.95 for your Galaxy Numbers on white, which is the inside of that. Countdown, as I like to call it. Countdown, I like it. Um, you, little ticking clock in your head when you say the word. Mm -hmm. um, right, so in the book, it says, sew them all the four together to make your sort of outside bit. What it doesn't say, but this is what I'm saying, mm -hmm. is to actually make sure you have the perfect corner. You can't think of me there. And it is the perfect corner. Let me Thank show you. you the perfect corner. I love it. Yes. Um, is you sew from the top of your interfacing, I'll just put a little dot there, to there, all the way down to where the end of your pin is. So make sure you leave for the same all the way round. Right. So all of these from there to there. Okay. So you say what well, all the way up to the top, all the way leaving that. Yeah, you start from that point, but you say all the way down to the bottom. The reason why is mm. when you actually box it, when you turn it into a box, you need it to sort of go like that. So your fabric will ah. bend, but I'll show you. First so you, you sew think, all the sides together sew first. Sides together, and then you actually put the bottom on. When it comes to putting the bottom, oh, sorry, I didn't get you there. Sorry. When it comes to putting the bottom on, you might panic and think, mm. but we can show you how to do that. And you won't panic. And the first time you do it, you're like, oh. And then when you've actually done it, the sense of achievement for making this and the sense of smuggery is oh. immense. Oh, oh I we like a bit of smuggery. Yeah, I, I made this myself, you know. You know Love what it. I'm thinking? What? I'm thinking at Christmas time. <gasps> Christmas presents, gift basket. Yes, instead of your traditional... Um, Wicker. Uh, no, I'm thinking uh, stocking. Oh, yes. Instead of your traditional stocking, which only is out for a few days and then gets put away again for another mm. year, why not gift? And could you imagine going... You see, that's going to be easier to put in the boot of the car when you go around your mum and dad's, isn't it? You could even do super smuggery and make this for them, which you then personalise, and then you made your own cakes to put in there, and you are daughter of the year. I need to start now. <laughs> Christmas cake. Make your own Christmas cake to put in there. It's the perfect sort of size for a little Christmas cake. It is. Not so little. No, exactly, because it's Christmas cake. It needs to be huge. Oh. Right, so shall I sew these Just up? Just so I always knew we were going to get on. <laughs> Big cakes. And that's it, friends for life. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, you start. Uh, do take the pin out. Now you're actually in. Do not sew over a pin because you will break your needle and your pin and it'll be really irritating. So, so are you starting, starting from that at half that, inch that point. in mark? Yes. So um, let's go forwards. And then there's a little crazy little back stitch here. Oh, I didn't do it, but there we are, close enough. Right, so we just go, oh, now it's done it. Now, nah, yeah. Take it go. off. How do you take it off? You just keep, keep, so keep going. Hey! Yeah, there you go. You just have to take your foot yeah. off the brake. It's not my sewing, when it's someone else's sewing machine, you have to sort of uh, learn. It's, um, I say, it's, it's like drive, getting in somebody else's car. You know the fundamentals of driving, but it's, it's, but it's different. Um, 
And same but different. Absolutely, same, same but different. Mm. I don't know if you can see on this side, that, but you're actually sewing right on the line. The reason why is it because you're going to get nice stiff corners. Oh, nice. Yes. So you go right to the end. You don't want any soft corners no, going on. No, you don't. On. Now, go right to the end and then backspace on this crazy machine. Yeah. Close enough. There we go. Take it off with these. Oh, I love these. Should we have just paid you in product today? <laughs> Yeah, so I really need home. more. Okay. Sorry, 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 boys. You thought that, you know, I might be able to do the weekly shop. No, what's actually no. happened is I've got some beautiful fabrics and some new scissors. And, uh, All for me, because yeah. I did it. I've yeah. this. And look, it comes in this beautiful box. Mum, you made that. <laughs> I know, <laughs> boys. Savannah, yeah. Aren't I amazing? Oh, oh, you what? know what I've just thought? Go on. Sure, you know, I, I was looking through a catalogue the other day yeah. and they did like a boot tidy of bags. Boot tidy? Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, but I would say... So then say... when you go shopping, you can put those in the base of your trolley and then you just fill into there, unload, fill in. And then lift up, done. It doesn't have to be guys, it could be any fabric. You, yeah, exactly, use a different fabric because there's so many different... You don't have to use cotton, obviously, for something like that and I wouldn't waste beautiful... And on my boots, which is full of dogs and things for you mm. um but yeah anything absolutely anything oh it's just gorgeous anyway i love that fabric <gasps> you know what? i might it. just do one of those anyway for the back of my car for the boot of my car so that i can put all the dog yeah. toys and dog paraphernalia oh, nice. in there yeah oh sorry apparently we're actually selling this not dog stuff um, <laughs> uh, sorry sorry what's that producer Haley? Pass. if everybody checks out the planet fabric then half of it's gone. So it's absolutely fine. We, we had a lot of that as well. So if, if um, you've got it, please check out your baskets. I don't want anybody missing out. Um, this idea has come out of the So Useful, but by Debbie Shaw. Details for that on the top right-hand side of your, no, left-hand side of your screen. And then down the bottom gives you your Galaxy Planets fabric. Love so, it. So, yes. You obviously clip all these off because you're really, really neat and tidy. And obviously. obviously. And then, so you've got two of them done. Yep. Look, that's the bottom. And so then you sew. Let's see, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, do and I have to iron that open? You do. Or? I'll yeah, show you in a bit. But we'll just do the whole lot. Making sure, because you've done two together, that the two which are open are at the top. Now, the other thing to just bear in mind here, Jess, that we didn't mention is yeah. this. The ones that you've left open at the bottom... If you're working with a directional print, yes, then it goes that way up. Uh, yes, exactly, because that's the top. That's the top. So, so just, we this isn't. So yes, just make sure if you are, because if you look, this one's a directional, just kind of. Yeah, you can see the planets. If you can see the Saturn, as all the rings of Saturn. Exactly. Yes remember that yes um yeah so they're all the because it's there's nothing worse than actually doing something like that and then you have to get that seam ripper oh, out no. and um, pick it oh uh, no very irritating director tim says he doesn't think these are actually real planets <laughs> don't well, know what I planet he's living that, on then. but yeah, you know exactly. that works for me um i don't know i think they're lovely i think real planets would look a bit boring in by comparison, absolutely. Oh, exactly. I like that. Oh, who would have wanted to prove it with actually got that beautiful print? I mean, some of them are just, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Little triangles. Yeah. Oh, it's all good fun. Um, all of our fabric from last hour, this hour, all sold by the half metre. So maybe you're making this, but maybe you've got little girls as well. Maybe they would just love that fantasy print. Um, we were saying earlier, if you bought the applique kit with the alphabet that we had on Thursday, firstly, well done, because that sold out really fast. But secondly, then you've got the whole alphabet, uh, which oh, means nice. that you can put initials on there. If kids, yeah. well, this is the thing. If kids have to share a bedroom, put initials on, and then they know what's their stuff, what somebody else is. Um, I have a smaller version of this that I put Freddie's socks in. You have an organiser for your son's socks. I love that. Yeah. I just uh, have a drawer which I make them go and put. It's only because I've run out of drawers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. These are wonderful because you don't have. You can just put them in the bedroom because they just. You can just have them. Yeah. Don't stack them, but you just have them on the side. Yeah. Also, in your sitting room to put magazines in, all that yeah. sort of stuff. You see, yeah, you, you um, all these lovely ideas. Now, I have a friend. Yeah. Uh, that's not the surprise of it, uh, I would hope. I, <laughs> I have a friend who is so super organised with her uh, scrap fabric. Yeah. That actually, she makes bag, uh, boxes like this 
out of, say, all blue fabric. Yeah. And she knows that all of her blue scraps. Oh, I like that. I know. Go into there. I like that a lot. And then patterned. She's got a patterned one. All patterns go into there. That's a brilliant idea. Isn't it great? Oh. Isn't that just a fabulous idea? If you are that organised, it's brilliant. So Useful has got so many different ways to organise your room, your car, your just everywhere. It's brilliant. And for less than £10, you're getting a lot of inspiration. So again, this is... The other, this is still doing the sides of this box. Yeah. But, but how easy, if you can sew in a straight line, you sort it. Hopefully you can sew in a straight line, especially if you're on live telly. Well, you know, you wouldn't be the first guest to do a wobbly line. Especially on a sewing machine you're not used to. Yeah. But we'll get there. It's all good. So it seems like a lot of stuff doing, but what you want to do this, because you do exactly the same for the lining, and I'll show you my, here's one I made earlier in a minute because um, then you can actually see how you do the, the bottom corners as well. Because once you've done this, it's just making the precision. Once you've actually got it right, it's really quick to put together. It's just do a you, bit at the beginning. You don't line, you don't interface the lining though, do you? No. Yes, you do, because you oh, have do double stick, because you want it to be double thick. Thick. Because oh. you feel that oh, versus yeah. double. Okay. And All of right. course, I mean, it's a little bit crumpled because it has been in a bag, but then you'd iron it if you're that way inclined. Uh, you'd iron it once when you've actually finished it, and then you pass it <laughs> over to some be child. That way inclined. <laughs> um, especially if you're gifting it. Um, I love the idea of. Um, oh, no, the one that we're making this out of mm. is uh, this is your circuit board fabric, and that's the details down the bottom. There you go, Let turn me, it there over. There we go. That's your, fa that's your um, circuit. There we go, that's your circuit board fabric. And again, it's by the half metre. Nice, $5.95. That's um, really good. Actually, value. shall I go and show you all these fabrics? You did that as well, I finished yeah, making this. Yeah, you sew that. Yep, and I'll and show you I'll, the other I'll bit. show you all the different fabrics. Righty ho. So, should we start with the planes? Because it might be that you want to line or you want to applique an initial or anything. Let's go. Whee! This is bright orange. Now, this is what you'll get if you buy a half a metre. It's a lot, isn't it? Uh, for £3.25. Uh, yes, £3.25 gets you all of that. So you can applique names and goodness knows what onto your bags and boxes and this and that to your heart's content. R-N-M-Y 37. Or maybe you want to use this as the lining for your, ba uh, for your bag instead. I don't know if it's a bag or a box. Is it a bag or a box? It's a bag, but it's kind of sturdy, so I don't know. Uh, now, this is the plane that works perfectly. This navy, like, well, as producer Haley said, she wants to get some of the spaceships and being attacked by bunting. I love those spaceships. <laughs> and really good for fussy cutting. You can actually yeah, you can fussy cut with, with them. Out. But you see, look, see, that navy just works beautifully with there. So you can just use that and have just a strip. So if you've just got leftovers of this, then you can just do that. So that is... Um, I think it is the same sort of background colour. Here we go. So 325 XGMY 65 for that. Um, all of these 100% cotton. All of these going to be washable. If you're worried about shrinkage, then wash them first. Um, or if you're worried, I don't think the colours would run. I wouldn't think they would. Uh, but if you are worried in any way, shape or form about anything like that, um, then just wash them first. Um, here we go. This is your yellow. And again, it's one of those ones, this is your bright, bright yellow. And this, again, is one of your, your, um, your spectrum solids that we have, 325 there for that. UZMY39, and of course, all of these colours, if I just fold these and put these to one side, then um, firstly, it might look like I'm being a little bit tidier, but secondly, I'll be able to, uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, let me give you 
here we go. These are the planets. This is the one here that you need to be quick about getting because this is the one that's selling out really quickly. But you see, you can see it with all of these solids here. It just works so well. So whichever of the solids you're going for, and we do advise you to grab a solid because then it just means that your fancy schmancy ones go that bit further. Um, 5.95 G A uh, G N M Y zero one. And you'll just see that then you can pick out all of those bright colours. You've got the oranges in there. You've got the yellows in there. Can we get that from? Look at this. Thanks, chaps. You see, look, any of those colours. In fact, the grass green, um, I think it's called grass green on our, um, on our Spectrum Solids page as well. I think that's the green in there. Just, all right, fantasy bunting. There you are. I have to get some of that. I just love that. It's, uh, it's just making itself known to me, isn't it? Um, and of course, all of your um, all of your fantasy fabrics again are going to work beautifully if you're doing your storage. Now let's have a look. We are using the circuit board. That's the one that's next. And you'll just start to see again within the circuit board that all of those colours are in there: the yellow, the navy, the yellow. It's all in there. There we go. It's sort of a minty. It says that it's turquoise, but I'd say it's a minty teal because I can. And if I spread that across there, then you can see that in the planets, like that planet there, that's the same color. That's how they sort of, so that planet there, that's got the same colors in. And then you've got your navy there, which is picked out there, your orange in there. It all works basically is what I'm saying. You get the idea. You get the idea. Five ninety-five for that one. Um, oh, oh, oh! The rockets. The rockets are absolutely flying. No pun intended whatsoever. But they are. Yeah, here they are. You too can be a rocket man. There it is. So nearly everybody bought at least a meter of this. Go for it. This is the thing, isn't it? This is fun storage. But also... This is going to last. Just thinking, that fabric, for any girls that aren't girly girls, yeah. beautiful little dresses and skirts. Oh, yeah, non-girly girl skirts, dresses, of course. Especially that um, Perfect. circuit board would be gorgeous. Circuit board, absolutely. You see, that's just it. It's that gender-neutral stuff yeah. that you want as well. Uh, now, let me show you the numbers. Numbers, of course, girls, boys, doesn't matter, does it? Mm. Um, none of it matters which way around it goes. There we go. I read an article about a little boy that liked to wear tutus and he said they made him feel brave. And Aww. I thought, well, good on you. If your tutu makes you feel brave, just wear it. Um, I think he was about three. <laughs> um, there you go, that's your numbers. Slash countdown. 5 95 for that one. If you want it in navy, and of course that navy is going to match everything else, then here we go. The navy is, is that navy going along the bottom? There we go, then that's your navy numbers there. Oh, I want it at all. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Started off nice and tidy, got less as <laughs> I went along. But you can just see how it all works. No matter what you're going for, you can make that and make it look absolutely stunning. Love, 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 love it. Right, so we have sewed these all together. Um, so you can see all stitched on one side there and at the top to there. So then we need to press the seams open. If you've got an ordinary ironing board as I have, it's really easy. You just pop it on through there or we'll just use this here. Mm -mm -mm, we can do this. So. Now this is all from the book. Yes. Now we've got to make sure we don't hit that green mat there. So Absolutely. So there. then let's just press the seams open. And if you've gone a bit into the interfacing, it really doesn't matter. Just pull it out of it um, because it's not really going to see it, to be honest. Like, so you just press that yeah. there. So press all of them open, and making sure that you press, um, you know, the bit which are actually open. So you can see it's like that. And because you've actually done a double stitch at the beginning, it holds. So the next one, we've got a little factory going here. Well, yeah, I often wish that I had, when I go home, that I have someone just to help me with my ironing. Because I get so used to us oh, both doing it. You went um, to school, secondary school, and did you have shirts? 
I've got that coming soon. I think you can get the ones that you don't have to iron, can't you? I'll be having those. That would, that would be the one. That'd be the one. No, you don't need to have one of those shirts. You can have one of these. Look at this. Yeah. So there we go. So iron along there. And also, if you take them out of the tumble dryer in just the right time, and then just hang them up in your shower room. Top tip. Then, uh, then bit, it, yeah. all the steam from the shower just lets all the ah, creases hang out. I like that. It's like having your own steamer. Not and it looks that, like you, you have, know. yeah, because one of inclined to have your own steamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, as long as you don't mind showering amongst shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure maybe you move the shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously don't like have the shirts up on your shower yeah, okay. curtain, you know. And, Especially and you've got all... visitors. Yeah. <laughs> like having tights on and hanging up somewhere. Right. <laughs> oh, we've got a question from Lynn. How much fabric do you need for that? For that, um, Let's see. well, you buy in half metres, don't you? So we'll tell you here. So you need... 10 times 10 inches, so you need so, um, 20 by 50. So, yeah, 10, 25.5 centimetre. Or 10 or, inch, Yeah, I know. or 10 inch squares of fabric. So, you, so if you did it just a tidge smaller, if you did it just... Yeah, so just a that, little bit smaller, you could get one half metre. So if you did it in... Um, we'll in, in the lining. If you did it in centimetres and you did 25 centimetres, then that's four yeah. of those in a metre. What's the length again? 130? One twelve. One twelve. Cut them slightly smaller and then you'd get them. Because then you can or you could line it in a plane. Yeah. And then you could, you know, you have enough fabric to make two outers. So out mm. of one half a meter, make then a you would need so you'd have five yeah, you could fit Yeah, you could if you make them small even smaller so they fit within the nineteen inches, um you can go that way, you can make them smaller cubes than this and then you could make two outers hang on the same hang one on, piece. Hang on. It's maths, isn't There's it? A, let, yeah, so... We need a calculator. Here we go. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. You need 10... Five, uh, 10 inch or 25 and a half centimetre squares. So that... You'd fit two of those. Two of those. There. But you, if it's... You might make them slightly smaller so two, if you want to make five down there. Four, six, eight. Yeah. But if you wanted to do it with your lining, if you can fit eight of those... Yeah, easy. Or you could always, if you want to, um, change the bottom. It might yeah. get a slightly more durable fabric and therefore you've got probably enough. Hmm. So you need, yeah, so you Love need a metre. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, and then you've got saying. loads. There's always an excuse to buy more fabric. So a metre for one. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wendy says, lovely, lovely programme. Hi, Wendy. Loving us both. More, please. Oh, thank you. Yay! <laughs> uh, did that? Oh, yeah, no, it's from Wendy in Essex. She says, yeah, loving the programme, Jess and Tasha. More of you both, please. Well, wow. see what we can do about Exactly. That. Now, so you press the seams open. Yes. You have checked, because you always check, these ones at this end are all stitched up, mm -hmm. and these ones are open. Mm -hmm. Then you need to attach it to the bottom, at which point you go, ah, let's do that. Um, and it says in the book, <laughs> attach it to the bottom. Yes. Which is a bit like... Um, so, I want more detail. Yeah, more That's detail. That's why we've got you. So this is where the more detail comes in. So you want it to go like that. So this is the reason we've actually haven't sewn these ones is so they go like that and open up. Now what that's giving you, it's, it's, a it's giving you the corner. Let me just. There's a bit of thread. There's on a little there. bit of thread that's yeah, just making it bit. tricky to see. Um, that means you're going to get a little V yes. shaped like that, but it allows. And I only know so this because I had, did this on a door stopper, on like a sugar bag door stopper, and this was mm. how I had to attach the base. So once you, once you can do this, you can attach a square. So if you can see on the overhead camera, that means that that is then going to... It basically stands up like it that, does. doesn't it? And you'll feel incredibly smug when you've done it. As I do. Smuggery! Did. Smuggery! Craft smuggery. So all the way around, they go like this. So that's what it looks like. So to actually then attach it... You need loads of pins, and you start off... Right sides to right sides? Yeah, right sides together, so the reverse is on the outside. Okay. And what you do is you line up, say about half an inch in, so effectively where that ends there, 
And you can see that that's going to be the, the point is just there. You get your pin. So it's where your lining yeah. ends, isn't it? Where, where that interface Exactly. Use that as your guide. Make life really easy yeah. for yourself. So you find a point there where you've actually sewn it. This corner point. There. You see, this is the, the faffy bit. The actual stitching doesn't take any time at all, but it's the, the engineering. Yeah. But I love it, craft engineering, working it, is it all out. just stitching in a straight line. Yeah, absolutely. So that lines up, make sure that's completely straight. Once that's in the right place, you then pin that like there. Then you can check, in theory, hopefully, these two will all line well, up. In theory. In theory, they should all line up. In theory. And if they don't, you do it again. So you just make sure on the other side, close enough that there. So this is, you're just going through that point where yeah. you left off your stitching and that should come through. So let me just, let me just show where you, where you did that. Um, so here, where, where, you, where you left that V, you're going in where that seam starts there. You're putting your pin in there and you want it to come out right on that corner there. That's what you're putting there to there. Yep. So you pin that in place. All the way around like there. So that should in theory, and if it doesn't, you might need to jiggle it. That's because it's a bit further so away. So then it just, it all sort of all lines, lines up. up. Now, those of you buying the Planet this hour, well, the Planet fabric, well over half the stock gone there. Please check out your baskets for that. But we've got Janet, Gillian, Alexandra, um, Aruna. Aruna, oh, I like nice. that name. Um, Julie, Kathy, Jacqueline, June, Susan, to mention a few. Lynn, Claire, Margaret, Shirley, Jill, Geraldine, the list goes on. Joe in Warwickshire, Julie, Jude, Linda. <laughs> Keeps going. Keeps going. That's a uh, massive so congratulations list. to all of you. Now can you message us and tell us what it is that you're going to be making? So many gorgeous Ooh. things. There we go. We now that's lined four up. There and we a half go. Minutes. Left. Oh my goodness me, in that case, you'd pin that all the way around. It goes so quick, it goes so quick. I never thought an hour would go so quick. But I, yeah, so I another you. one I made earlier. So you pin that all the way around. It is perfect. You then take your the sewing take machine, your machine, start in the middle of one side. Be kind to yourself. Start in the middle of one side. And you just sew all the way around here until you get to that point taking your pins out as you go, and then you make sure the needle is down, down. Yeah. turn it, do a little back stitch just to hold it, yeah. and you go all the way down the other seam, so and keep going. The thing, the trick is, when you get to that point and you're turning it, just move all of this faffy stuff to the yeah, side. Yeah, because it is faffy. And that's, that's all, that is the most difficult bit, is just that moving is the, the fabric out bit. of the way so that you then have another straight long go at it. Yes. So, seeing as I didn't realise the time has gone so quick. I know. Made the other one so you can see what it looks Yay. like. So you can see, this is a slightly daft, this is the, look at that. I just, I mean, I'll tell you oh. a bit. Isn't it divine? And you have so much fun working out which way you want things to go. So then you can see, I don't know if you can see here. Get your finger. You see the point, it goes all the way down here. Mm -hmm. Needle down, you can just see there, like that. Yep. Yeah. And you get all the way down there and you can see on the reverse like that. Now, how do I put the lining in? Oh, that's easy. So you make two of these exactly the same size, mm -hmm. whichever one you decide to have the lining, because you may turn your mind off, you sort of Whoa. done it around. You then have the outer like this. Yeah. And then you put your lining right sides together. Yeah. And then it's just a really simple thing of stitching all up. Before you and do that, handles. you need to put your handles in. So you work out whether you want the um, double edge there, or that edge to be in. You pin them, you work up which point where you want to go, probably about work from the outside, not from the inside. So measure using your lovely erasable pen, two, three inches, whatever width you want, you want to do. Have a play, see what you think. So measure your point, so you go two inches there, and then you pin your handles, and it lines up here. Hang on. That way around, not next to that. Where are we? Yes, you'd actually have your lining inside. Inside, inside yeah, yeah. You can't see there's only one of these. 
just quickly comes up. Can I can I turn this inside out? Because yeah, I, just, inside I out. really want you to see. You can mix the handles of the fabric as well. I mean, yeah. just look, it just so, it tones in so well. I think lots of you going for for all the different fabrics so that you can absolutely uh, mix and match. But that's what it's going to look like in your rocket fabric. And then should we grab that lining? Let's turn that lining inside out. There you go. Because uh, we've got about 30 seconds wow, left. Wow, make it quick. Um, so there we go. So your lining is then going to sit beautifully inside. Inside. And then you, with your, when you're doing your handles, you're lining inside like this. Do it. But of course, this is the other way around when you're actually doing it. Yeah. You would then um, make sure that these, because you've got a nice straight edge. Yes. Do you know, I've just turned like that in there. Yeah, I've it doesn't the matter. Way well, you know. did the right way around. You'd actually have this the other way around because it's right sides together. The, that would be outside. But we're just showing but off. But imagine aren't we? that oh. lining that beautifully. Yeah. But then you would actually pin your handles inside. Yes. Making sure the edges actually line up. But of course, you do on that side. Stitch them in. Yes. When you stitch this all the way around, but leave a. Um, actually, no, you do it like this. You are right. It's on this side. So you go like that because there's no turning gap on this. It's even simpler. You have it like that your handle because you're sewing it this way around like that and then your lining is pinned inside the equivalent so it is actually wrong sides together yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah and then you sew all the way around like that but i love the idea of mixing the handles as well it looks really pretty well, no i think you know once you've got when you've got yeah. the contrasting fabrics and they are all on the website i know that we have brought you so many the rockets and the planets are going to sell out today so please make sure that you get those um Jess, you've been amazing. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. I'm sorry we didn't finish it. We just chatted so long, didn't we? And this fabric is so lovely. But it's all in the book, apart from those corners. And I've showed you how to do those. So there you go. Grab the book, grab the inspiration, grab the material and get going. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Tilda is next. Brand new Tilda. See you in a minute. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Join us on the 17th of May when Joe Carter will be showcasing a brand new cuddly creation. Inspired by the popular children's nursery rhyme, Joe Carter has exclusively designed for Sewing Quarter these adorable owl and pussycat softies, complete with their own pea green boat. She'll take you through this project step by step. So join Joe at 8am and 10am to make sure you don't miss out. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of ten you will have to ease the top section of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again just so it doesn't pull through. Normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle so I'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so so you can see that I've got just that section sewn there and then as I begin to pull you can see that I'm easing the head of my sleeve in so when that is stitched these curves should disappear they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing so that's easing Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Join us on Tuesday the 16th of May when, back by popular demand, Joe Carter's Bear in a Bag returns to our screens. With brand new fabric options, we bring you Fantasy Bear, Space Bear, Seaside Bear and Meadow Bear. The kit includes everything you need to make your adorable bear 
complete with its matching bag. This makes the perfect gift. So join Joe and Bear in a Bag on Tuesday the 16th of May at 9am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Now, welcome back to our last live hour here at the Sewing Quarter. Now, do you remember a couple of weeks ago, um, we did a Tilda Fabric show, and I said, this is your last chance to get it. When that Tilda Fabric is gone, it's gone because we're making way for a new collection. Well, today I'm launching half of the new collection. The other half is gonna be launched on Wednesday, okay? So half now, half on Wednesday. There's so much we couldn't fit it all into one show. Show, okay, uh, the colors are going to go. The way that we've split the uh, the new range um, up is that we've done it into color families for you. So we thought that was kind of the, the easiest way to do it. So if you've got a project that wants mainly greens or blues or teals as that interlinking color, then that's how we've got these fabrics for you today. And then we've thrown in a couple of linens as well with a lovely, beautiful, shabby chic color background so that you can mix those throughout all of them as well. Okay, so let's get going. If you are brand new to the sewing quarter, we're going to show you this hour a lot of fabrics, okay? I don't expect you to remember the codes. I don't expect you to remember the names. Don't panic, don't worry. I am going to show you where to find them. As we go through them, they will show up on the website, and here's where. So you go to the website, sewingquarter.com. You log on and you register. If you're brand new, that's, that's the first way to do that. Um, and then you go to watch. So top left, watch. Watch live, watch today's shows, and there we are. Or will be any second. There we go. There we are. And then underneath that, if you've got any questions or anything, message the studio. Beneath that, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, and you will see all the fabrics and everything that we've had for you to buy this morning. So whether it was a pair of pinking shears for you to make the, um, the bunting fabric, whether you've got all of that, whether you need your rip rack, whether you're after the galaxy fabrics, whatever it is that you're after, everything is down there. Now, as we add in each of these Tilda fabrics, they will show up on the website. They're not there yet. They're not there yet because we haven't showed them to you yet because what we didn't want um, is for everyone to start buying before the show and have sold out before the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the brand new Tilda collection. Oh yes, it's circus time. And I'm gonna start you off with this. This is your Tilda First Kiss in Linen. Now, for those of you that have never come across Tilda, thinking, what on earth is this Tilda? Why does Natasha always get so excited about Tilda? Um, for me, Tilda is one of those quintessentially beautiful, pretty fabrics. The beauty is um, the designer, to, uh, Tuna Fenenga, she, um, she brings you different collections, but she brings you in varying colorways, so you can mix and match. So if you've got any of the other collections, there will be colors that work through in here. So you might recognize that delicate pink and then that raspberry deep pink in there. You will have that in other collections. You'll have that shade of green. So you can mix and match this through. And I've made patchwork cushions at home um, where I've used about four different collections and they've all worked beautifully. You've got that blue in there. So if you've got other collections with blues in, this is a lovely one because you've got the pinks, the greens and the blues. It's going to work an absolute treat. It's on that linen background, that linen effect background. Absolutely stunning. So this is a lovely neutral to add in. $8.95 per half a metre. This is from the Circus range. It's absolutely exquisite. Utterly exquisite. DSGQ28. Oh, Jack, Mary, you're already going for it. Well done. Grab it while you can. These are going to be so popular. Now, okay, so that is the first one. What I'm going to do 
is do these in color family order, okay? So if you're after all the, turqu all the teal tones, then you'll know which ones go. But these are a perfect mix mixer. And this, again, the same. This is the linen and this is the clown flower. Uh, a little bit bolder than maybe we're used to seeing with Tilda. But how pretty is that? Isn't that beautiful? So again, Tilda, very clever. She knows that when you come to think about your patchworking, that you want different sizes, different colors of your florals. Uh, you don't want just your ditsies. You want your mid-sized flowers as well. And you've got in here, this is why I say the linen is a brilliant mixer because you've got, I don't know if you can see in the back, you've got like a, a blue dot. If you can push in any more cameras, that would be amazing because it looks like it's, it's not quite a creamy background, but that's because you've got a very, very delicate blue dot. So you've got your greens. So again, um, you know, you see the, ca the fabric that we had before, you're picking out that deep pink, that light pink, the greens and the blues, all in here, all in here. So pretty. That is your clown flower. And that is JFGQ13. So many of you going for these already. I don't blame you. Absolutely stunning. Um, we're just going to keep running through these. Oh, you know what else, actually? As I just, as I take a step back, I see him out the corner of my eye. Monkey's back. If you were after monkey, then he'll be... Uh, He's available as well today. He sold out last time, so that's why I just give you a little heads up that Monkey's back. There he is. I'll get you the details of Monkey in just a minute. He's been hanging about all morning. Oh, look at him. Look at him. My son came for a visit the other day, and he, he went all through the making of Monkey, because that's the monkey I made. And, uh, and he was so pleased to be reunited with him, even if it was just for a very, very brief spell. He does love him, because the hands are just, they're the right size for little hands to get hold of. Um, so, next one is your circus teal. We're moving into the teal colors now. Now, you know what I said about Tilda finding you different sizes so that you can mix and match if you're quilting your different sizes. But I think, ah, oh, a blouse or something out of this is gorgeous. Teal, always popular, always. But then, if you have any of the other, uh, other patterns that we've brought you, any of the other collections, then you might recognize the orange through there as well. Now we've, we, had that, we had that in the bumblebee range. There was lots of that color through the bumblebee range that we've just sold out of. Super busy, brand, brand new today. Please don't miss out on this. 8.95 per half a meter. This is your first chance to get it. Uh, this has not been aired before here. Very, very lucky to have this. Um, HMGQ63 and available by the half meter. Yes, please. That's what we're doing for you. So um, this is it. Now, this is your teal. Let me start to take you through the teal range. So... Again, if you're quilting, maybe you want to have the same patterns, but in different colorways. So next up is your clown flower. And this is in teal. How gorgeous is this? So you know when I showed it to you in the linen and you had like the blue spot on the background? What you've got on here is now that linen spot on a teal background. And so this is how the collections get put together. Really beautiful. So again, that first one that we started off on, the first kiss, where I said, look, you've got that delicate pink, and then you've got that deep kind of raspberry pink. You've got that again here. So again, when I said to you, a great mixer is that first kiss, this is why. Because you've got those colors. Can you see there? You've got that delicate pink, that darker pink, and it's being, hey, where are we? You've got the delicate pink, you've got the deeper pink, and it's echoed through there. So that was, that was your first kiss. That was the very first one that we showed you. First kiss in linen. 
So if you, that's why I say we've put the linen in because it is um, such a beautiful mixer. But look at that, isn't that such a staggeringly gorgeous print? And again, you know, you'll see that you've got that orange highlight through this, that little orange highlight that we just had on the other teal print. So if I bring in that other teal print there, uh, there we go. You can start to see things for your patchwork quilting and you want to get different sizes, different colors. This is the way to go. But how stunning is that? as a fabric that is just gorgeous. 8.95, that is your clown flower teal. And it's 8.95 per half a meter. Now, again, if you're quilting something like that, then you're gonna want a ditzy in there, aren't you? Maybe you're gonna have your ditzy for the lining of your bag, then this is a really pretty one. And, um, Tuna, who designs all of this, she's, she's a little bit of an enigma. We don't know all that much about her. She doesn't do the whole social media thing. She keeps herself very much to herself. Um, but what she does bring us are ranges that work beautifully together. And again, this is going to bring out greens, teals, and creams. So in a ditzy print. So again, this one is going to be a beautiful mixer. It's going to be gorgeous to have as the lining. Um, the beauty of Tilda is the quality of the print. So when you get it, then you know that the print quality is going to be exquisite. You don't get that thing where, you know, in some cheaper fabrics, uh, you know, where it hasn't been printed quite, quite right. You know, you, the, the middle of the flower is sort of off and sort of over to the side. You don't get that with this. It's all so precisely printed. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this gives you your ditzy element. If you've got any, um, and again, you've got that teal color going through there. Teal, green, and cream is your forget-me-not in there. Beautiful, really gorgeous. Um, going crazy for these already, aren't they, Producer Haley? Absolutely crazy. They are super, super soft. Um, I'll show you with the next one. That's your teal. So we bought you three teals. Now let me show you the blues. Now I think that you are going to love this. Producer Haley is ooing and ahhing in the gallery about this one. Um, and it's a pattern that we've seen in other colorways, in other collections, but here it is in blue. That is just a soft, romantic, antique style there. And you can really see the beautiful drape on here. It is super soft cotton, exquisitely printed. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Um, this is going to look beautiful in so many homes. Hey, you know that... Um, that gingham that we had on the first hour show today, you could mix that through with this as well. It just is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, if I just waft that out there, so you can see, and you can just see, you can use this for dressmaking. You know, you can, it is a, a lovely lightweight cotton. You know, the very first one that we brought you today, and I said, look at the colors that run through it. Here we go, look at these together. So now you start to see this blue coming through. So you've got this blue in here and that, so you can work those two together. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. It's so romantic, isn't it? it? It's just such a pretty fabric. And these do not go out of fashion. These do not go out of style because they are, you know, they, they are that romantic, endless feel. That rom uh, you know, it's that timeless Timeless classic, and that's what you're investing in, in Tilda. You can buy modern fabrics, you can buy fabrics that are very, you know, very now, very modern, but this is one that's gonna last. This is one um, that you will have. Maybe you make a boot bag out of it, and in 20 years time, you're still using it. You still absolutely love it, because these fabrics have not gone out of fashion, and that's the joy of Tilda. You're investing in a timeless piece of, of cloth. It's just beautiful. Now, that is eight pounds, ninety per half meter you grab as much as you need but they are brand new today they haven't been seen and they are going super super quick so please do grab that now you know that first kiss fabric the very first one that I keep bringing in going to see how it mixes see how it mixes um, what about it in a deeper colorway Ooh. 
This is first kiss, but in blue. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So again, if you um, are a quilter and you want different colorways, then look at that. Isn't that just lovely? So yeah, I mean, use your scraps of this for your bunting, anything like that. A good tip that I would say, if you're ever unsure as to which colors are in it, look at the selvage. So if I show you here, so on this one, a lot of, uh, yeah, you know, producers, a lot of people take the shopping with them with good reason. So you'll know if you ever need to reorder, you'll know that it's Tilda, you know that it's First Kiss in blue, and you know that these are all the different colors in there. So then, you know, when you get your, uh, the first one that I showed you, when you get your First Kiss in linen, let me just show you the difference in them. So you know that you've got, this is your Tilda first kiss, this is it in linen. But you can see straight away which colours are the same, which colours they've used that are the same, and which colours you can work with. So you can see in here, you've got the turquoise, you've got the blue, and that's the light blue that works with that one. So you know that you've got that colour Wixing in there, you know that you've also got the turquoise, which is going to work with the whole turquoise range that we've brought you. But you also know that if you're using it with this, look, you've got that same pink in there. You've got that pink in there. You've got the same greens. You've got these colors. They're going to work. Now, with this blue one, with the first kiss in blue, you know here, by looking at the salvage, you've also got that ginger. So if you've got ginger from uh, like the bee collection, the bumblebee collection, then you can work that color through there as well. So if you are ever worried about what colors to use, check your selvage. Um, I know that a lot of you, like we say, you know, you, you would cut off the selvage, keep that. Some of, some of you are organized enough to actually have a book of all your favorite fabrics and you would cut that off with a little bit of the fabric so you could see a bit of the print and then you've always got it as a reference. It's, it's, just, it's just one of those little handy things. But there we go, that is there. So if you're ever worried about what colors, will it work with what colors, just check your salvage and there, the answer will be there for you. But this is available by the half meter. If you're loving this blue and these pinks and the greens, and you've even got that ginger in there. If you're after that, this is the one. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, next up, because we don't stop there. How many of we will bring you? It's like 10, 10 brand new fabrics from Tilda today. And then we'll bring you the rest of the collection on Wednesday. So make sure that you catch Wednesday's clue. Now, do you love an elephant? Look at this. From afar, it just looks like a fun, a fun pattern. But when you actually see the detail, and this is where the circus comes in, the more you look at it, the more you see. So you've got the elephant, hang on, where are we? Where are that? Here we go. So you've got your elephant there, stood on a tree. There's, I don't know, a monkey or a cat or something. Um, he's clutching a teapot, as you do. And he's pouring tea into the monkey's cup of the next one. So you've got this diagonal movement going through there. Um, he's actually, look, on the tree, he's actually in the teacup with a spoon, which is then part of an umbrella, which is being held up by a very strong ballerina with lots of different birds. And the ballerina is perched on top of the elephant. And so we start again, there's a squirrel on there. The more you see, the more you look, there's even bunting through there. The more you, there's an owl in there as well. The more you look, the more you see, the more exquisite this fabric is. Look at the decoration you've got through the trees, um, sort of almost lanterns 
So if you want to work that into uh, the bumblebee range, which had that sort of lantern Chinese oriental feel to it, then you can work that through there. What have we got swinging? Oh, we've got a swing going on off there. A little girl swinging there. It is just gorgeous. And the more you look, the more you see. So from afar, if I hold that up from afar, it's a pattern. It's a pretty, it's a pretty pattern. But when you actually get into it and you actually look closely at it, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is one to fussy cut. Gillian's got hers, Jenny's got hers. You're all coming in for it. Loads of brand new customers as well. Hello, welcome to the sewing quarter. And another Gillian, lots of Gillians. Do you know what? My mum's a Gillian and I didn't know many Gillians. Then I started working here. There are loads of Gillians out there. Um, and then, oh look, you've even got a bird on the bunting. Truly exquisite. Uh, here we go. There's your bird on your bunting. Isn't it gorgeous? So this is one to fussy cut, isn't it? So if you're doing a patchwork or something, then you can take that out. Yeah, there is a cat swinging from the tree there. You're quite right, producer Haley. But you see, maybe it is trying to catch the bird. Do you think he just swipe that one with his paw? But then you've got the monkey there that's getting the tea. He's not stupid, is he? And the squirrel on the head there. The squirrel's got a little jacket on, yeah. It's gorgeous. So all the clothes are in that light blue. There's only three colors in this. Two different blues and then, and then just the white, the, the creamy background. That's it, that's all there is. So all the detail, and this is why it's so clever. It's so simple, but so clever. So you've got those two different blue shades. So all of, all of, the, um, all of the clothing, the little jacket from your squirrel, and all of the things that the elephant's wearing, all done in that lighter shade. The trousers that the cat's wearing, because clearly cats need trousers. And the little monkey jacket, even the tea in the going into the teapot. It's just beautiful. Really beautiful. The bodice that the dancer's wearing. Where is she? There. And her ballet shoes. Her ballet shoes. You, you can, you've even got the detail of the ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? Is there a star on the blanket on? The... Oh, and here. So there's a little, yeah, you see, this is it. I'm looking, producer Hayley's going, and can you see, and can you see? It is just exquisite. <gasps> Could you imagine this made into a ballet bag? Oh yeah. Those little ones, those grandkids that you've got, those granddaughters that you've got that are ballet crazy, but maybe they're not pink, pink, pinky ones. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Welcome to the circus. Oh, yes. Um, this is all out of the new Tilda Circus range. I think she's done herself proud once again. There we go. So, oh, look, oh, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I've got two more fabrics to show you. Yeah. Now we look at the greens next. So we've had your linen through to your teal, through to your blues, and now we're going into your green fabrics. Now I say green, there's still your teal coming through in here. So here we go. Now, the colors that we've got in this one, really beautiful. So this is your clown flower. And what you'll see here, if we can come in really close, you know how on the others we had um, the, the teal dot and the linen dot, there we go. I don't know if you can see, but basically there's, there's a green dot that's working through that. This is why it's the green. Um, and obviously because you've got um, that extra green that you then highlights all the leaves. Now this is teal. So if you want to mix this through with your teal, then you can. You've got that pink and that raspberry, which is throughout the whole collection. You've also in here got um, 
got the ginger. So if you've got any of her previous ranges where she uses that flash of orange, that ginger, then you've got that through here as well. Beautiful, just beautiful. So this is your clown flower. This is the third different color we've brought it to you in, yes. So if you can see, if I lay us over here, I don't know if we can get our cameras over here. Um, I was just going to lay it across here so that you can see. Um, this is it in the teal and this is it in your green. So you can see that you've got the teal colors. So if you want to put them together, maybe I should just do it so it's actually on that. There we go. So if you want to bring those teals in, you can. And then over here, if we move over here, Gwendolyn's got hers well done. Lynn, Allison, if you want to use it. Now, this was the original one that we bought you, but you can see, so you've got, oh, look, well, there we go. You can just see how these are all working beautifully. This was the very first one we brought you. This was, was that on linen? That was, oh, that was, that was, this clown flower was on the teal, but, uh, no, it was just the linen. Then this one is your teal. And then this one is your green. That's just your Tilda Clown. Isn't that beautiful? See how they all work? Now, if we come across a little bit more, this, we're going to this one here. Sorry, I'm giving these camera guys a real old run around, aren't I? Keep on coming. That's it, next one along. Yeah, thank you. Now, do you see... You see how um, I said this one is a brilliant mixer to throw in because look, you've got, you've got those tealy blues and the greens and that just works a treat. So if you're after a ditzy to go with it, then it's there. That was in part of your teal range. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Love it. PTGQ36, this is your clown flower green. That's this one. And that's $8.95. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, one more green to give you today. <gasps> I don't want to cover up the elephants. They're just too gorgeous. Just too gorgeous. Look at the green. Now, first kiss in green. How gorgeous. <laughs> Here we go. So this is it in green. Just beautiful. TNGQ95 for your first kiss in green. Now, um, you want to, if you are getting any of your solids, then, um, you know, look at getting your antique whites. Um, your ecru goes really nicely if you're after your solids to go with this. Um, now, this one with your green, mix it in. This is the very first one we showed you. This is the first kiss in linen. But can you see, same print, but how different it is in just those two different colorways. But don't they work prettily together? So maybe you have one as, as a lining, one as the main event. Maybe you're quilting with these and you want to work in with different colors, but in the same texture, the same color. Now, of course, now this is also, look, you see that we've, so we've brought it to you in blue, green and linen, all the same print. Blue's just coming in on the bottom. So first kiss in green, first kiss in linen, first kiss in blue. They work so beautifully together because you've got the same colors in each of the bouquets. And then it's just a matter of which background fabric you're going for. Just stunning. Welcome if you've just managed to join us. This is, well, we're halfway through the show, 10 brand new Tilda fabrics for you. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm going to take you back now to the website. Can I do that? Okay. So, 
on the website for anybody new or anybody that's just joined us and gone, oh my goodness, 10 new fabrics. Yes, 10 new fabrics. And you're not quite sure which ones to go for, head to the website. This is where you will find them. So on the website, take a look through. You go to watch, log in and register. Go to watch. And then you can message us if you've got anything to say, then message us, scroll down, keep scrolling down, and here they all are. Now I've tried to show them to you, well, I haven't tried, I have, in, <laughs> exactly it, uh, in colour families. So, yay, woohoo! Uh, because I think that's really important. You know, if you're, if you're trying to find something that's going to work together, then you've got to know which colours work with which. You've got to, of course you have. Ah, you have no idea how happy this counter makes me. Doesn't it just look beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So that's your teal range that you're going through there all the way through. Now we come and we start to this one here that you see, and then go from teal into your blues. Oh, which is your favourite? Can you message me and which is your favourite? Look at the elephants with the ballet dancer on, a, in, on his back. And then we go through. So when we've gone teals, blues, and then greens. Just stunning. Oh, I want them all. Hey, <laughs> I can buy them on the website, says our director. I, well, I can't because I'm here, can I? Everybody else is buying them. Well done for those of you that have managed to get them so early on. Now, you're going to need thread that's going to go with these colorways. We've done that for you as well. So whether you're going for your blues, your greens, your teals, your pinks, this is the perfect thread combination. 895 DSGQ37. This is your Gutterman Sew All Summer Loft Thread. Look at that, 700 meters. So there's 100 meters of each thread in there. And as you can see, it just works perfectly. So look, there you go. Right, right on the money there with the blues. And then if you go over with the greens, it's gonna work with the greens. And then you see your pinks, that it just goes. Just work, it just works. Then you've got it. You know that you've got the threads that you need. 8.95 for that. DSGQ27. Now, you might think, yes, but I've got all of this beautiful fabric. What am I going to do with it? Got that sorted too. Of course we have. These are your Tilda's spring ideas. Let's pop this down here for you. So, gorgeous. We've had shows where we've shown you how to English paper piece and do boxes. So maybe you're doing home decor with this. Um, maybe you want to use your scraps to make beautiful flowers. Maybe you love making the Tilda toys, in which case you can dress them in these beautiful fabrics too. So this book here, which is the Spring Ideas, you've got, oh, do you remember when we made the bug? But you see, you can make the bug out of all of these fabrics. It'd be absolutely stunning. And in the back, you've got all of the, um, oh, we'll get to that in a minute. You've got all of the templates for that. Um, Producer Haley, next week, have we got that purse bundle back? With the, the purse class bundle. I think that's coming back. You know the crazy one where you get like 10 different purse clasps for about 20 quid? If you've got some of these fabrics, now this, you could add that purse clasp onto these. Or you could make just the little clutch bags like these. Absolutely stunning. I look, you see, look at these. How pretty. You get that fabric and you do that skirt in there. Pretty, isn't it? So it's, it, oh, yes. It's gorgeous and it shows you how to make all of these. So all the clothes. It's that shabby chic feel, isn't it? You've got a little bit left over, make some flowers. Waste none of your tilde. None. You're not allowed to waste any of it. 
Um, now, you will, she gives you instructions on how to make gift bags. For me, um, I would be doing that with a card base and then just getting some fabric glue or fabric spray and spraying my fabric onto that. That's a keepsake bag. Now, there are other Tilda books on our website, go through. Now, talk about aspirationals. If I could have a sewing room like that, oh, gorgeous. I'd love a whole house like that. I think my husband might go slightly crazy, but I would absolutely love it. So you can see these are her past collections, but you can see again the blues and the pinks. You see, that's the, the same pink and the same um, raspberry. Look. Can you see how the, the colours get repeated? That's why she's so clever, because she uses a basic palette of colours, the blue, the teal, the green, the linen-y colour behind, the pink and that raspberry colour. And she does all of these. Which is most popular, Produce Haley? I really would love to know. Picnic Blue, this, this one, the, this, this one here. That's your favourite producer, Haley. Followed by the elephant, yeah. Gorgeous, maybe, there we go. We'll move that over there, then you can keep looking at them. Mm. Now, what else have we got? Let me put that there for you. Uh, the first one, the linen one. Do you know what, yeah, get that first kiss linen as well, because that's gonna mix through. So whatever you get from that, it's gonna mix through an absolute treat. So more ideas, look, here we go. Can you imagine it's putting all your sewing reels and threads and stuff? And it shows you how to make them all. Line it with your fabric. It is gorgeous. You want to see, don't just keep this in your drawer. You know, we were saying earlier, um, when we made the circle cushions, about getting those fabrics that you keep hidden away. For me, it was my tilde I kept hidden away for ages because I thought, you know, it is a more expensive fabric. We admit that, but it's expensive for a reason because it's, it's such beautiful quality. And, and that was the thing. Until I actually got my hands on it, I couldn't understand what the fuss was about. I could say, yes, it's a beautiful print, but I couldn't understand once you get it and you work with it, that's when you really appreciate the quality of it. And, and it seems to be that once you become a Tilda fan, that's it, you are absolutely on it, in it, that's it. You're hooked, that's the one. Now in the back of the book, um, you've got all the templates. So all those things that you've seen, whether you're making the clothes, whether you're making the dolls themselves, um, and actually as well in here, uh, there's the bug and his wings. We love that. There we go. There we go. And then if you want to make a gift tag or whatever, it's all in the book. We've got other books on the website as well. Uh, but for seven ninety under ten pounds to pretty everything up and giving an excuse to use your tilde, seven ninety five. There you go. R C G Q eighty two. Now, he's back, back in stock, Mr. Monkey. Now, in the kit, you get enough fabric to make two, and they're same but different. So if I just show you the different fabrics, actually, the fabrics are in here, I can show you. This is one, this is, oh, okay, so he's made out of one, and then the other one, that's your other monkey. That's your other monkey fabric. So he is back in stock, two of these. So less than 10 pounds per monkey. Everything that you need, apart from your toy stuffing, is in there. You even get a pokey pokey tool there to poke out the limbs. Um, full instructions, let me show you the instructions actually. They are very, very easy um, to follow. I made him, so that's how easy it is. We did have that conversation. It, exactly, producer Haley, it's that easy. Um, my, oh, Margaret's got her monkey. Who else has got their monkeys? Hilary, Barbara, well done, you've got your monkeys. What I love about this and what became very apparent, these are your step-by-step -step instructions, by the way. Um, what became incredibly apparent after I'd made him 
was that um, this was a toy my son loved. And I couldn't work out why it was to start off with. Now, Freddie's three, but I know why it is, because he could hook him onto things. Um, because he could imagine what expression the monkey was thinking, because it's kind of left for you to decide. He's got a tail that could hang off things. And when you've got two, then the hand and the tails can, can hook and they can swing around together. He could hang it off things. But because of the width of the arm, his little hand can get around. And I have to say, I'll be honest, this monkey's been dragged around our house quite a lot. Um, and I did have to um, bring, him, bring him home, uh, bring, bring him into work while Freddie was asleep, because otherwise he'd be upset that he was leaving. Um, but there he is. He, he absolutely... Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, this I just did with marker pen. I just did his eyes with marker pen in the pack. She says, you know, you can get special uh, special pens and um, special paint. Um, and then he did have a bit of blush on, and that was literally just makeup. That was literally just makeup blush. But he is back. Well done for those of you that have managed to get monkey. Leave him swinging over there. He's great. Now, um, let me just show you, you get all of the pattern. You also get thread as well. So if you wanted to hand stitch him, you could hand stitch him. You don't have to machine stitch him. Um, the pattern, very simple. It's that, that's, they are all the bits that you need. So this is your body. You cut two of those, two of the face, two of the back of the head, two of your ears. You even get wadding. Actually, you get quite a lot of wadding. That wadding there, and you don't use any of it, all of it up by any chance, is to make the ears so that you've got wadding in the ears, so that you've got that extra little bit of wad on the ears. Um, then you, these are your arms, uh, that's your tail, they're your legs. And that's it. So you just cut four, four, two of those, and out you go. So it's really, really very easy. The thing that takes the time with the monkey, if I'm completely honest, is turning it inside out and stuffing the limbs. But you've got your pokey pokey tool so that you can just poke everything through. So that's even in there. So he is back in stock today. Sandra, Christine, Hilary, well done. Julia, Barbara, all getting your monkey today. Well done, well done. And what I would say, actually, because this was the other thing that I had a message about, I even made a little video that I sent to a customer about this. Um, you'll see here where it says ES. That's your extra seam, and you've got that here. Now, what that means, you've got it on the air, you've got it here. With that, um, you will turn that up and under, but that gives you extra material so that you can sew the neck on easily, and you just hand stitch the neck onto the body. But you turn that up so that actually it's not difficult for you to do, and then you just hand stitch that onto the body. But that's why you've got that extra seam. Now you'll see down here, if you watch the new Craft House in the week, they did a makeup bag with a very similar um, effect there. That just boxes out the base of your monkey so that he will sit. Okay, if I just get monkey back. You'll notice here, there you go, there, that means he's got a boxed seam there and same on the other side so that he will sit, okay, whoops, bit of yoga. Um, and so there, that's what that is all about. Um, now, remember, the kit's got two. It's not just one monkey. You get two to monkey about with. So if you've got grandkids, then you're looking at less than £10 for a Tilda monkey. Uh, the size of this, I think that no, none of us appreciated actually the size of him. It was only once he was made, I was like, wow, he really is big. I mean, it does say on, the, on it that it's, um, it does say how big it is. But, you know, it just didn't quite translate until, oh, height, 59 centimetres. So for half a metre. But I don't think that really translates until you actually see him made, just how big he actually is. Now, of course, if this is your first purchase from us ever, then you'll get a free sewing kit from us too as a nice little thank you very much. Uh, so that is what we've got for you 
on today's show. Now, come with me as well, because if you are buying um, your Gutterman thread, then again, another back in stock for you. We saved all these back in stocks for you um, is, of course, the, the spool rack. Um, it's just the rack, obviously, this is... I'd like to say that we just put these on to demonstrate. This is actually what we have backstage, so that our guests can come pick the cottons that they want. We've got a few of these. Um, and so you notice that you can also, if you want to, then you can put your, uh, your bobbins on there as well. Um, now these, here we go. Just works, isn't it? It's fab. Uh, so you can fit 60 spools on there for under £20. 19 95 gets you that MB. GQ43. There we go. That gives you that spool rack. And if you want the thread to go with it, with all of the beautiful tilters that we've shown you today, here it is. Uh, there we go. Down the bottom, coming on details any second now. There it is, 895. And this, of course, working beautifully with all of the Tilda threads. Can we go through the Tilda fabrics, the brand new Tilda fabrics that brought this hour? Excellent. Come this way. Woohoo! Uh, right. Oh, there's monkey. We love monkey, monkey. From the very beginning. Ha ha! Here we go. This is your first kiss in linen. Per half a meter. Eight pounds ninety-five. But it's just so pretty. You can imagine a blouse out of that. Really pretty, whether you're patchworking. Now, the joy of the linen is that it's got pretty much all the colours in. So, um, if you can see through here, you've got the blue, you've got your darker blue, you've got your lighter blue. So, the elephant fabric that we saw has both of those blues in it. So, if you want to work this in, with that elephant fabric that I'll show you later, then you've got both of the blues in there. You'll see throughout this collection that pink, that light pink and that raspberry pink. You'll see those throughout. You'll see that darker blue, that lighter blue. But you'll also see that we've, got, we've brought you the teal collection too. And I don't know if you can see, it's almost like a little, um, a little bee dot uh, around the flower. That's in teal. So you can mix this in with the blue, the green and the teal and it's going to work across the board. I would say get this one, no matter which other ones you get, this is a fabulous mixer. This is going to mix through throughout the whole range. So for $8.95, DSGQ28, this is your Tilda First Kiss linen fabric from the circus range. Absolutely stunning. This will work throughout all of your other Tilda collections as well. Um, there we go, $8.95 for that. That is just... I would almost, that's kind of like a tilde neutral to have through. Now we start to look at um, more uh, stronger patterns. And we've got this in a variety of colorways. But this is, um, this is your clown flower and this is on a linen background, okay? So this is your clown flower linen. So if that's what you're looking for, this is it. Um, you've, well, it just it brings in all the colours. So you've got your teals in here. Uh, you've got your linen, you've got your pink, your raspberry, you've even got your ginger from other collections. And your greens as well. So again, another great one to pull through. We're looking at a mid-size um, print here. If you want to go for a larger print, then the next one's that. We've got the Tilda Clown Flower in one, two, three different colorways. Okay, so this is it in linen. Let's have a look at the next one. So JFGQ13, beautiful. Now the next one, we start to move into the teal ranges. So you know how I said that that's kind of a mid-range size flower? How about this for your larger print? Ooh, beautiful. Imagine your tote made out of that, or your cushions. Or imagine having a beautiful blanket with that through it, in panels through it. It's just gorgeous. 
And again, now you start to really get um, an idea through here of, look, you see that ginger coming through. It's got your teals, it's got those pinks, it's even got the blue. So you can mix it in with the rest of the range. You can, because it's got all those colors through in there. Absolutely stunning. How long have I got? I need to get a wriggle on, don't I? Because I've got all of these to go through. Right, so that is your circus rose in teal. Now, um, I told you that we were bringing you the circus flower uh, in three different colors. This is the second one. So this is it in the teal. We've seen it in the linen. This is it now in the teal. And here's why, because it's got that teal background to it. Again, that striking pink and raspberry. Um, but you've also got this teal and the linen color is throughout the range. Beautiful. ZGGQ02. And again, you start to pick up um, that uh, ginger that we've seen in other collections, like the Bumblebee collection that we've just finished selling. If you manage to get that, then you know that those colors are going to start to work. Now, another one, the next one that I'm showing you, we're still in the teal range officially, but you can also mix this through with your greens. This is another great mixer. Like the first kiss linen that I showed you straight off, this is another one to grab in your stash, whatever, because this is kind of your ditzy print. This is your ditzy floral. So if you're looking at using, if you're quilting and you want Want different sizes to work with. This is a beautiful teal, uh, a beautiful mixer. It's a ditzy floral. This one, what's this one even called? I've got this written down here. This is your forget me not. This could be the lining of a bag. Uh, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's funny that I forgot the name. I, I, yeah, the irony is not lost on me. Uh, but again, just a pretty antique feel to this. Beautiful, 100% cotton, gorgeous, stunning tilde, 8.95, UPGQ34. That's got to be a winner, surely. Now we move into the blues, and this one is this still favourite, producer Haley? Yes, yes, yes. I can't hear her, but I can sort of hear her in the background going, yes. Um, yeah, we go. Uh, this is producer Haley's favourite as well. Look at this. Now, this is kind of an antique blue to me. This is just beautiful. It's soft. It's light. It's so feminine and pretty. But you see, this one, um, you've got sort of a larger bouquet. And I think it's just very pretty because it's just the two tone. You've just got that light blue and then you've got the, the, the linen base to it. But you've also got coming through here, these are actually dots. So the blue is two tone. You've got the linen spot on that blue background. So ever so pretty to work with this. Gorgeous. This is your summer picnic and it's $8.95. And again, this is a pattern that you may well have seen um, in her other collections, just not in this colorway. Now, let's have a quick hello to some customers. We've got Hilary, Carolyn, Gwendolyn, uh, Lorraine. We've got Elizabeth, Gillian, Monica, Mary, another Gillian, Julie, uh, Nicola, and Jackie and Rosemary, to name but a few. Hello to you. Well done on getting this. Um, I'm just going to push on because I want to get through the rest of these before we get to the end of the show because I really want to recap all of these because they are all so stunning. Um, now, this one here is your first kiss in blue. So again, actually on this one, you know I was saying with the linen, um, that you've got kind of almost like, a, how close in can we get? Can you see the tiny linen dots around the outside of the flowers? On the linen, um, then you've actually got these little dots. Oh, perfect. There you go. You can see that now. Those little dots around the outside of the, of the little bunch of flowers. On the linen one, they are a teal. Now here you've got it in blue. You've got that ginger again. You've got the, red, uh, the pinks. Just beautiful. All in this one fabric. Absolutely exquisite. There you go. Now, next up has been a big favourite. Not just of mine, but of everybody else's as well. It's the elephants. Now, this is Circus Life. Circus Life in blue. Look at this. Now, this is where we need to get in. Oh, yeah, because... Now, where am I here? 
you've got you've got your elephant and you've got all the detail of the star on the elephant. Now, sitting on the elephant is the monkey. Now, the monkey in his little, little circus outfit is catching the tea that's coming out of the teapot, that's coming out of the uh, teapot being held by the elephant that is above. And so you've got that, diag that diagonal pattern that's happening along there. Now, the elephant is actually stood on a tree, as you do. Now, um, underneath the tree, the tree is actually planted in a large teacup with a spoon that's balanced on top of an umbrella, which is being held very expertly by a fabulous ballerina there. And there are ribbons and an owl, and uh, she's got her ballet shoes on. You can even see the ribbons there in the lighter blue. The detailing here is all in the lighter blue. You've got bunting, you've got everything. It's all in there. It's a stunning fabric. From afar, it just looks like a pretty pattern. But when you get in close, it's absolutely exquisite. NGGQ 93, 8.95 for half a meter of that gorgeousness. Get it in your basket and check it out because that is just fab. Oh, right. Okay. I've talked a bit too long on that one. Let me give you the next one. Now this again is your circus, your clown flower, but this is now green. So we've brought you two greens this hour. This is the first of them. So again, this is your green color coming through. If you're after the circus flower, we've got it in three different colorways. This is it in green because in the background, you've got a tiny pinprick of green um, going in that direction. So PT GQ36 gives you that in green. Do you want to see the first kiss in green? There we go. This is your green. We're all about the greens now. Uh, this is first kiss in green. We've bought you this in linen. We've bought you this in blue. We've bought you this in green. Um, absolutely gorgeous. $8.95. If you've got any of the other greens from the Tilda Rangers, it's going to work a treat with this. TNGQ95. This is how the Tilda Rangers work. Firstly, you get that base color. You've got the green in there, but you're also going to have those pinks, which you can pick out across the range. And then with the blues, you'll have that blue background. And that's why we brought it to you in color families. The beautiful teals, they're in there too and then you get things like the linen which works throughout the whole range so well done on managing to get those producer Haley, what did you want to do next the monkey don't forget the monkey he's back in stock as well today don't forget him two monkeys in that packet um here he is so don't forget to pop your monkey and actually once you've got your monkey there's no reason you can't make him because once you've got the the pattern you can make him hello into in the all the other colorways of the all the other fabrics once you've got once you've got the um once you've got the pattern so ax gq 92 and this is your classic monkey 995 he is back in stock yes don't miss out so of course you can continue to shop after the hour head to the website www.sewingquarter.com um now coming up tomorrow john's in tomorrow and this is what he's got for you. It's Super Sunday, John's Kitchen at 8 a.m. Is he bringing his breakfast in? Good job. Uh, we've got our book lover's bag at 9 a.m. Then we've got our softy showcase at 10 a.m. And then at 11, we've got a beautiful beach bag all coming up tomorrow. Now today, goodness me, how many beautiful fabrics we've had. Um, and we've had a fabulous new guest as well. Jess has been an absolute star, brought us some beautiful things. Remember, you can shop after the hour. You can watch again as well. Our shows are looped on the website so you can see those, but they're also available if you want to fast forward and rewind. They all go on to YouTube. Just search Sewing Quarter and the date and they will come up and you can watch them all the way through. So lots of ways to shop, to rewatch, um, fill your boots, get sewing. Thank you ever so much. I'm back in on Wednesday. I will leave you in John's capable hands for tomorrow. Thank you ever so much. Have a lovely weekend. Sewing Quarter is at the very heart of sewing as we bring you all things sewing and quilting. The team behind us live and breathe sewing day to day. We strive to bring you exclusive offers, exciting live demonstrations, and most importantly, we will custom cut fabric to your specification in our very own cutting room. We will also be bringing you TV exclusives that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So come and join us today at the Sewing Quarter. Welcome to the Sewing Quarter! Quarter.